Sorry, I'm a little late. Four quarters couldn't be here with us this evening. I had evening, to take a shower Lupiro and was unannounced until, get well, just set up. Now, really? Let's have a look at Loop Hero. Your world has been cast into a dark Let's watch Game Awards. I didn't miss anything. Did I? Did I actually miss anything? To be honest. Build cathedrals and remember your world. Scrounge for weapons, armor, and mystical items to level up your. I missed that soundtrack. Who won? Expand your camp. Customize your card deck and uncover secrets. Face the lich. Final Fantasy. Okay, you're mine. And save your world. Coming in 2021. Thank you. Yes. Oh, hey, thank you. Uh, we'll see you next year. Or whatever. That's it. Every year, the Game Awards do our best to highlight new games from all sorts of developers, from AAA big shots like Devolver to smaller independent studios. Our next world premiere is the debut of a new game from Awaseb, a young studio started in New Caledonia. Enjoy. And what? Is that a real place? Pretty sure I heard of that in Final Fantasy Tactics. I don't think I don't know if we'll be able to do predictions because it's like predictions you can only do one versus two. You know what I mean? You can only have two options. from that other game? Remember this from that game? Now they're all in this game! You could be a coconut? Coconut girl. Thank you, Diamond Joyride. Turn these off here. Oh, this one. Coconut. Close. Caledonia. So they don't think that's real. Good for them. This next award category is for one of gaming's most popular genres action adventure. The breadth of what is considered an action adventure game also leads to this regularly being one of our most competitive categories. Incidentally, for the past three years, the Game Award winner for action adventure has been Game of the Year. So this is a big one. Here are the nominees for best action adventure game. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Alerts are so loud still? What the Ghost fuck? of Tsushima. Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I have them so Star quiet. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And The Last of Us Part 2. Um. And the winner is... I wasn't paying attention. And it's going to be the one that wins later tonight. The Last of Us Part 2. Oh, no! Wow, we won. Uh, this is awesome. We won. Oh, wait, I can't turn this down because it's going to turn this down. Okay, I'll fix it. Game. Um, on behalf of the directors, which is myself, Anthony Newman, and Neil Druckmann, uh, we want to thank the entire team at Naughty Dog who poured their heart and souls into this game. It's really their talent that immerses you in that world and really makes you feel like you're on this journey with Ellie. Uh, want to thank yeah, man. Evan Wells, our president. Uh, also, everyone at Sony and our partners for really helping us uh, put this game together and get it out the door. Um, Crunch works! And especially to our fans who supported us and uh, really helped make this game something special. Uh, you guys make it worth it, so thank you again. Congratulations once more to The Last of Us Part Two. We have many more awards coming up in the pre-show, but first, here's another trailer. 
I'll tier list all these Hi games everyone. tonight. Uh, I'm Connie. I'm the CEO and creative director of my games company. It's me! Mine and Beautiful Berlin. It was such an honor to be nominated for the Games for Impact. Let's try this. Good volume, right? Called Sea Shake? of Solitude. Are we good? I'm very happy. I have to adjust them every single time. Sea of Solitude will be Maybe a tad loud? Oh, motherfuckers. This winter, I hate you guys. It's not just a port. We fully reworked the entire game. We're calling it the Director's Cup because it's a version that truly represents what I wanted to convey about the topics Can you guys just get that stronger are ears? especially No, now I'm fixing it. Now I'm missing the Games for Impact Award we can't wait because to of you guys. You. Until then, stay safe, enjoy the Game Awards, and see you soon. It's named Anxiety. We'll anxiety. Depression. We'll chase them across the sea of solitude. We'll set sail, and we won't stop until we reach safe harbor together. The haters. 3D Celeste. My mean parents. No thanks! That's a big no thanks for me. Thanks, Flashbeat. We've had some great world premieres already, but we recognize there may be some fans of elegant, shadow-based puzzle games who feel left out. Don't worry. Name We've one. Got something for you too. From Focus Home Interactive, here is Shady Part of Me. There once was a girl who was trapped in the dark, with naught but her shadow for company. A journey to escape she did embark, and her shadow followed distrustfully. The girl found no hope in life, but despair. Her shadow smiled. With me, there is a way. Hand in hand, we break free from this nether. Step by step, we will rise. I think? Together. I think that game already exists. It's contrast, right? If you're just joining us now, welcome. We're in the middle of what has turned out to be a jam-packed pre-show for the Game Awards. We've just premiered two trailers. That game's about depression, by the and way. And now we'd like to take a moment to announce the winners of three awards. First, three is awards. Best Family Game, a category that did a lot of heavy lifting this year throughout the months of what seems like endless lockdown. When pools closed and Chuck E. Cheese went bankrupt. Family games. Chuck E. Cheese, there. shout out. The nominees are. Well done, Chuck. Animal Crossing, New Horizons. Crash Coney Bandicoot hates talking four, about mental about health time. issues because he's happy. Fall Guys, no. Ultimate Knockout. Coney has played mental Mario health Kart indie Live, games Home for Circuit. eight fucking Minecraft years. Legends, and Make Game a new Mario, game. The Origami King. And the winner is. Animal Crossing, okay. New Horizons. Next, I have the honor of awarding Best Community Support. This That's category Whatever. debuted last year, and it represents the games that truly value their player base, demonstrated through communication and respect. Here are the nominees. Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Fall Guys don't Ultimate care. Knockout. Don't care. Fortnite. I don't care. No Man's Sky. I don't care. And Valorant. Not Fall Guys. And the winner is... As long as it's not Fall Guys. Fall Guys, Ultimate You dumb knockout. mother... All they did was tweet Bungus, Finally, Bingus, Tingus, Chungus. The like they're casting spells. This, of course, goes to nominees that Bingus, Bringus, Prungus, Dungus. First ever release. Added to the game. For fresh perspectives, new ideas, and distinguished... Limpinicus, Bungatus, Bungatus, Bungatus. The nominees for Best Debut Game are... Carrion. 
Mortal Shell. Just fucking Professor That's McGonagall. Raji, an ancient epic. And Roki. And the winner is... Insane. Phasmophobia. True. Yeah, I'll give it up on that one. That's yep. five trophies down, and the Game Awards haven't I'll even shake on that one. That one's true. Carry and suck. the handy countdown timer says, we yep. are we can all agree away, on that. So Phasmo like was pretty good. Phasmo was good. About a few ways yep. you can interact with tonight's big show. All night long, fans will be predicting I'll definitely the shake winners on, that on one. Twitch using a special voting extension powered by Verizon 5G built for gamers. Lock for me? Picks throughout the night to see if you guess the right winner and whether you're watching on our official channel or from one of hundreds of co-streams. Mega Drops will be activated like for this Fortnite one right here. and Among Us. Over the last few days, fans Mega have visited drops. our at the Game Awards TikTok channel and voted on oh God, which the, the, audio the Last weird. of Us Part Two team they support: Team Abby or Team Ellie. The votes are in, and Team Ellie won the vote. Thanks for your votes, and be sure to follow us on TikTok wow. if you haven't yet to catch all our great gaming content. The good guy beat the bad we guy. No shit. <laughs> our slash gaming community to see what their pick is for 2020's game of the year, and the winner wait is Ghost of Tsushima. Reddit moment. As for the game award for game of the year, we obviously won't learn that until the end of the night. For now, we're about Reddit to take moment. a super short break, but coming up on the other side, we've got winners for each of our esports awards, a Persona 5 Strikers performance, and of course, more world premieres. Hey, thanks, Sydney. Listen, it's hard for me to believe that it was 27 years ago that my brother Robin and I watched players venture into the Ages of Mist for the first time. Oh, anyway, that's who that is. Today, I am so excited to start a new chapter of Mist. David Kojima, with the release yeah. of an entirely reconstructed VR version that's available now on the Oculus Quest platform. We've got something special for anyone who purchases Mist. They'll unlock a Mist-themed Oculus home environment. I'm so wow. thrilled for you to experience Mist in VR, and thank even you I'm not so this much old for your continued love and support. Mist was before my time. A snake! Mist. More like schist. Game Awards pre-show. For the first time ever, I get to introduce a musical performance right here in the pre-show. And I'm not sure there could be anything better to jump off with. Performing Last Surprise from the Persona 5 Striker soundtrack from Tokyo, Japan, here is Lynn featuring the Persona Band. Game Awards. Are you ready? Here you go. version of the song I mean it's a good song shame it's in a shitty game you know but whatever I'm not here for that thank you ghost of sorry sorry I didn't pop what didn't it pop oh my god thank you alchemy still exists sorry missed your sub my bad whoops a doodle it's a book, not a game. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it sucks that they made a mistake and accidentally put it on a disc instead of, you know, paper. Big oopsie. I don't know how you make that miscommunication. So, 
Yeah, did you put out that new manga? Oh, manga? I thought you said video game. Whoops! Tony, can you hit the fast forward? I don't, I don't see the button. I see the compressor button. Don't like that. I'm Cody. I hate anime. True, true, true. Actually, hold on. Let's shut this up. If you guys want a quick promo, I actually, in the AMA that I recorded, the hour and 20 long one, people ask me, they're like, why do you hate anime? And I get my honest, real, my, my real point. You'll have to watch it to find it. But somebody else asked me, they were like, do you really believe everything you say or are you just doing it for, you know, clicks or attention? I want you guys to know, I genuinely believe everything I say. Now, sometimes I turn it up to 11 for fun, but I'm not doing this for attention. You can get attention anywhere on the internet. I could get attention on the internet right now. If I squirted ketchup into this, I would get like a thousand likes. <laughs> I made a funny drink. Anybody else drink their soda with the ketchup? Like... Oh, no, that's so gross. Like, I could do that anyway. I'm telling you guys how I really feel. And how I feel is that anime is cringe. I probably would like Cowboy Bebop, maybe. In the AMA at one point, I, I say the, the language of anime is just so corny to me. It's the mannerisms. If I see one more character feeling confident, go. While he's walking, he's walking, and his eyes are closed, and he's doing this. Well, I guess you're just gonna have to learn from the best. Hey, you're not the best, sweat bead. It's so fucking cringe. Well, to near Automata. The actual title of this remake Jesus. is, of course, another sick joke from director Yoko Taro. But the Game Awards pre-show will never turn down a challenge. Tonight, I am both happy and unafraid to introduce the gameplay debut for Near Replicant version 1.2. Spoiling the AMA? I, I use that exact example, so yeah, I kind of is. I, I kind of am. Dot, dot, dot. Speaking of. Never mind. I won't do it. I won't do it. Thank you, Peacocks and Whales. I love your name. Thank you, ZC Swan. Sorry I missed your sub. I was too busy complaining about anime. Flash beat. Did I miss everybody? No, I saw Diamond Joyride. Oh my god, I missed so many of you. I'm so sorry. My bad. Thank you, it's Alan K. Thank you guys for the primes. There's a lot of primes tonight. Oh, another one. Wait, what? Oh, where's that weasel? Okay, it didn't show up in my activity, but it was the gift sub. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. I really do appreciate it. It's been a special night already, and now I get to share with you another Game Awards first. The world premiere of a new band. You heard me correctly. They're playing their debut single, Follow Unfollow. Please welcome, for the first time ever, OFK. This must be Jeff Keighley. Yeah. No thanks! It, it's, it's, this is like the last level in Sayonara Wild Hearts. Oh, it's for a video game! Great, great, great! Thank you, Zamboni. Tonight's about celebrating nice haircut? It's been like this. I just put some stuff in it and I put and it back, that's all. Thank you, very big seagull. Honoring e best talent. So despite everything, e -sports best talent? ...to entertain and inspire. Of the 30 different Game well. Awards categories, five are eSports A lot awards. of no thanks today. To it's the Game Awards, winner, yeah. Be ready. I may need to call Be in ready. some help to get through them all. We'll see. Here we go. For best esports game, the nominees are Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Call of Duty? Counter Strike. <laughs> offensive. Thank you, Prime Frisco. Fortnite, League of Legends, and Valorant. And the winner is League of Legends. <laughs> I feel like they win every year. For best esports. For the eighth game, year the in a row. Are Krusty, Grab, Who? Rambo, Krusty. Zephyr, and Zonic. 
And the winner is... Krusty, bro. Zonic. Fuck. I love Krusty. For best esports event, the nominees are... Blast Premier Spring 2020 European Finals. Call of Duty League Championship 2020. IEM Katowice 2020. League of Legends World Championship 2020. And Overwatch League Grand Finals 2020. Remember when Evo was on that list? League of Legends it World will never will be again. Am I right, fellas? For Arr. best esports host, Arr. the nominees are Dash, Golden Boy, Dude, Dash rules. Machine. Golden Boy Shiver, is great, but Dash is like. Shocks. And the winner is Shocks. For best She's good. esports team, She's the good. nominees are. She's good. Dallas Empire. Damn one no, Shox is good. Shox is good. East Dash West, is just like San Francisco Shox, and he G2 didn't do much this year. Yeah. And the winner he is he probably hasn't worked much. G two esports. <laughs> Congratulations to all of the winners. And now to announce the winner of best esports athlete, here's the host of ESPN's First Take and the new ESPN Plus show, Stephen A's World, Stephen A. Smith. I know what y'all are thinking. Did they just bring Stephen A. Smith to the Game Awards in an effort to legitimize esports as something equal to athletic sports? Nah, that's not the point. They're doing their thing. When every major sports league in the nation shut down, esports just kept on going. With that being said, I'll say this much. All of the esports athletes nominated are without question more determined, more tenacious, and definitely win more than anybody on the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> now for our nominees. I like this guy. Crim Six. I thought he I wanted Sean him to go Laker, in the other direction. Kenyon. I wanted him to be Shazzy, like that being said, all Zai these Wu. booger nosed children couldn't and stand up <laughs> to the titans of real sports. Showmaker. That would have been very funny. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's a dog. Environmental <laughs> noises. It, right? The Game Awards are about to begin. Stephen A. Smith just handed out the final award of the pre-show. And now it's time for one last premiere before the main show begins. And it's got something we could all use a little more of. Dragons fighting dragons. Here's Sentry, Thanks, Age of Ashes. It better not be 2B. It will not be 2B. It will never be 2B. Never. Why would they announce Goku at the gaming awards? They would announce him at the anime awards. They would announce Goku at the Gogurt and Uncrustables convention. Grown men being dressed by their mother con. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I mean, I guess. Okay. It looks okay. Coney laughing at his jo own jokes. I'm very funny. Not really. Uh, you know why I laugh at my own and jokes? Because the jokes in my head are funnier than the jokes that I say. You know what I mean? I have an idea in my head, and sometimes when I say it, the idea isn't as funny on execution, but the idea is very funny. You know what I'm saying? Special surprise. I love surprises. What's in here is there never as funny as you guys, guys see. You know what I mean? Age, I'm just not Brothers funny enough to get it out. That's all. Huge surprises, little surprises, I'll have to take your word for it. Awards for the greatest guys, trust me. I'm funny. Trust me. Trust me. This is Sydney Goodman signing It just off. doesn't always the seem like it, you know? Start right now. You'll shake on that. Go, go, go. What is the Blue's Clue shirt? I love this hoodie. It's a Baja hoodie. I love this thing. Days in a row without drinking watermelon beverage. Dude, this shit is delicious. Come on. 
Oh, it's Hello, Jeff. everyone around the world, and welcome Look at to the Game shoes. Awards 2020. We are so happy to have you joining us tonight. You know, this year, of course, will be a little bit different. Uh, it's been a tough year for everyone. I, I know. And normally, with the holiday season, we'd all be gathering with our friends and family. And I know that can't happen for all of us. But tonight, we can gather here and connect around games, something that we all love. Games connect us. And I'm here in Los Angeles. And whether you're watching live right now in China early in the morning, in Europe, America, my native Canada, wherever you are, uh, even in India this year, all over the globe, we are coming together tonight to celebrate our love of video games. Uh, now, to keep everyone safe tonight, nominees are going to be joining us live via Zoom from all over the world. You can see them there. Hi, everybody. They're all wow, joining us from their homes and their studios. There's China, Reggie. There's Europe, Reggie. Los Angeles, it's Reggie. And, wide, and we will have all these guys joining us. Uh, Reggie didn't know how to set up his webcam. Awards live in the show. Uh, we're going to be joined also by some very special Jeff, guests. How do I compute? Reeves, Gal Gadot. Brie Larson, Tom Holland, Christopher Nolan, John David Washington, the Swedish chef, Reggie, and more. And we Here also have a very special performance by Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam. Uh, he will be in Seattle. He's and still the alive? London Philharmonic Orchestra from Abbey Road Studios in London. Oh, I'm thinking of Eddie Van Halen. It is going to be an I amazing genuinely couldn't show. Remember. And I as forgot. always, we've got the awards. I was thinking of Eddie we've Van Halen. First sorry, looks. Sorry, sorry. We've got new game announcements. All of the things that make the Game Awards special will be here. That's going to be DMCA. He's going to play fucking even flow. Just to fuck over it. <laughs> what if the games? record companies were like, send Pearl Jam, make him play even flow and Jeremy, and we'll shut down all of Twitch? Jeremy Spoken. <laughs> 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 Wait, what? Already? Already? Okay. Okay. Is it Jonesy? Fell off the bus? He fell off the bus. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought he fell off the bus. He's dropping. He's dropping in. It's Jonesy. He's dropping in. Watch your boy. Yasuo. Really? That's crazy. That's really cool. Dude, that's actually so cool. Oh, he has a counter. Never mind. What? Wait, he split the stage? What am I looking at? <laughs> okay. I get it. All right, I'll, I'm analyzing this after. I have to for the YouTube. That's side B, probably. All right. He has kaboom. He has heroes move. Where did he learn that? <laughs> he killed Mario. Never mind. It was for fun. This is really cool. I it's totally unexpected, but Wait, Cloud Why did Cloud do the move? His final smash is getting omni slashed by Cloud. <laughs> what? On Sony consoles. <laughs> that's the final smash. Okay, that's the final smash. Okay. All right, 
the fun is just getting started. Do but they know that's this month? Also about awards and to present our first award. They know that's this know month. They have less than a month. They have 20 actor, days. A filmmaker and a dedicated actor. Hold on, wait. They, I don't think they realize that they, I, I think they made a mistake. That's a typo. It was supposed to say 2021 for sure. For sure. Brie Larson. Award for best performance. Oh, that's Laura Among Schmidt. I thought that was Brie Larson because the group of my bad. actors filling vastly different roles. It said Brie Larson would be here, so I thought that was Brie However, Larson. However, these artists are not Dude, I, for that's, what they share in common. That's actually it's crazy. Dedication to their craft and an extraordinary. It looked like Brie Larson, right? And empathy to their it, roles. it looks exactly here like her, and I knew that she'd be here. It said Laura Schmidt. Whatever. For a second, it looked like best that. performance. That was really good. That was a really good trailer. Really fun character. That's good. I'm excited. Yeah, that's a shake for me. That's definitely a shake. That's a big shake. For sure. You know what? Hades deserves it, but not specifically for Hades for the whole game. Give it to all of them. And the game award goes to... This dude deserves it. Laura Bailey as Abby, the last of us. Fuck day. off, dude. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, wow. Uh, I, I was such a fan of the original uh, Last of Us and of Troy and Ashley's performances within it. Um, I fell in love with Joel Minnelli. So it is no surprise to me that uh, Abby's role within this story has been met with such uh, passionate responses <laughs> but um, to have been able to play such a fantastically challenging character who through her story enables the player to find forgiveness and empathy is something that I'll be eternally grateful for um, Oh man, I told the team on the day that I finished filming that what I wanted more than anything was for my performance to I'm not listening to this. To give a performance that honored the impact that the original game had on me. So this award means so much. Um thank you to Neil and to Hallie and the entire team for giving me the opportunity and for all of the support and the guidance along the way. Um to Patrick and Ian and Grace for uh everything you did the, the the story and abby would not have been as impactful without you by my side I'm... um to troy who <laughs> through our i don't know decades of working together in this industry we've been we've been allies we've been enemies wrap it up in between uh and every single time i work with you i come away better for it thank you for all this <laughs> and to thank you rip paladin ashley who I love so much. Um, I don't know what else to say other than um, I think you should probably be giving the speech right now. I think you're amazing and your your strength and your power and your vulnerability and your performance left me speechless. Um, I love you, marry me. <laughs> to my husband, Travis, who spent countless hours just listening to me come to terms with Ooh. what this uh, game's journey has been. Um, and to the fans, obviously, to everyone who voted, thank you for your support and for your love and for your passion and for allowing yourself to go on this journey with Abby and with me. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> Congratulations, Laura. I think I heard iMessages coming in for people congratulating as that was going on. It's uh, so great to have everyone here celebrating an amazing year for games. All right, we are streaming on every platform tonight including Twitch, where we have drops so am I, for fellas, Among Us so am I. Fortnite. We All right. both have world premieres coming. All right, love you too. Tonight. We will also be interactive on Twitch. You can predict right. who you think will win using a Twitch extension. First up, the best character looks ongoing good. game, so go and vote now. Lock in your predictions. All right, well, even with everything going on, it's been one of those special years that sees the launch of new next-gen consoles. And with that, brings a whole new generation of games. Tonight, we are honored to have one team, a new team of veterans, reveal the very first details about their ambitious and exciting new project right here at the Game Awards. Enjoy. I'll be the judge of that. Pretty much since the day I started, there has been a really clear 
player fantasy. I think the Cyberpunk thing that, that 2078. Makes it from a lot of first person games is it's not just about shooting. Eco sci fi is <laughs> eternally in use. Future fiction, but from an ecological focus. Oh, wait, is There's it? There's been this ecological disaster. These Horizon? corporations came in and they no. developed new technology, and on the surface, everything's. Everything's pretty great. We're still early in development, but we're really excited with where things are going. We wanted to share a cinematic piece that helps set the tone for our world. Okay. I am looking at it. when everything changed the floods the storms i remember when i played horizon zero dawn Fires, that shit was so cool and then i said i'm the gonna make a game about that <laughs> i think People viewers jumped a hundred when sephiroth got revealed and now it's back down a hundred it looks cool guys what do you want me to say i've got other games come on <laughs> I'll talk about it later. But the laws of nature aren't meant to be. They definitely hit the fellas. They got the fuck out of here. Know what they're hiding. Cruel world. Isn't it crazy that this game came out today? This game came out, right? Like, I don't know what I'm looking at, Did man. You find the answers you were looking for, Agent Dark. I knew it! I, dude, I was just about to say it! I was gonna say it's dark! I was gonna say it's perfect dark! Oh my god, I wish I said it! I was going to say it, I swear to god! Okay, I'm in. I'm in then. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. You lost me. You lost me. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. You got me on that one. You got me. You got me. You got me. My bad. My bad. Sorry. Sorry. Very sorry. Very sorry. You're right. You're right. You're right. That was my fault. I was very disrespectful. There you go. Perfect dark from the initiative. Xbox. Very exciting to have. Dude, I swear to god. I thought it when I saw the I saw her I was like that's Joanna but I'm not gonna say it I don't want to be cringe I will oh god I fucking knew it I knew it okay it'll be good it'll be good don't worry it'll be on PC the thing Wait, Turtle Rock? Oh, dude, it's Left 4 Dead. Holy shit. Wait, what? Right? Didn't they make Left 4 Dead? Yeah. No way it's three, though, right? It's a spinoff. There's too many. Stick together. We got a job to do. Remember? No worm-ridden son of a bitch is gonna stop us. That's me. That's me. Up, it's not Left 4 Dead 3, because I don't think they have Valve. But it's definitely Left 4 Dead. It's, oh, dude, there's a special infected. What the hell? Right for dead. Right for alive. Perfect. What is that? It's not a tank. It looks more like a like a blimp. It's a tonk. This is my favorite hoodie. A little club soda will take that right off. What the fuck is that? I will give it all the way up for this. Hell yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 I'm in, I'm in. Wow, it that <laughs> That's so cool! Oh, that's cool. Back for blood, and I'm now joined by Chris Ashton. That's of cool. Rock Studios. Uh, this is pretty exciting for all us Left 4 Dead fans. Of course, uh, you guys are known for all the amazing work Left 4 Dead, and now you're building uh, this. I'm oh, building that's a legacy really with cool. this new zombie co-op shooter. Uh, what's new? What can you tell us? about Yeah, that's pretty that? shameless. Well, and he even said you guys are known for Left 4 Dead and bigger, right? We wanted to have more playable characters. Good for them, dude. Uh, Good for more them. Missions more story have they done uh, anything since have a left for dead of zombies to fight right but also we wanted to go bigger so now evolve we've got these oh. 20 foot tall uh, zombie monstrosities that are definitely going to take you know the help of your friends in order to defeat all right well it's great to have this game announced but it sounds like i, I, I think you've prepared a little surprise for everyone watching right oh yeah like uh movies are cool but uh, gameplay is king right so let's see. True, 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 true. Okay, yes, here we go. yes. Here's the gameplay reveal of Back Dude, for Blood. Dude, no, if it was out now, Thank I'd be Chris. ending the stream instantly. I'm out of here. Playing some fucking Back for Blood, bro. I always wondered how Left 4 Dead would factor right now, because I think it still holds up pretty well. It just looks and runs like shit. Ready? Not one for speeches. So how about we just go kill some rip? Nice pep talk. Ha, damn. Here we go. That jump. All right. Watch out. Sure. I got a bullet for you. And you. And you. <laughs> what if you only shoot one zombie? I got a bullet for you! Going in. And anyone else who I fu- What the fuck is that? What the fuck? That's cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think this game needs, like, spectacle. And there it is. Good shit. Oh, is this guy like a scroll level? Like you can't kill him, so you have to get to a certain point. That'd be kind of a cool mechanic. Cool thing to say. Maybe, yeah, there are like four scroll mechanics where like you can't kill them. You just have to keep running. That'd be kind of neat. Oh, he can still get you. I'll give it up. I will. I absolutely will. Hold on. So we got to make a list of everything revealed tonight so I can tier list it later. Wait, did it stop? What was it? Uh, back for blood. What else? What else? Sephiroth reveal. Near. There you go. Back for blood. June next year. Alpha next week. Crazy. All right. Very exciting. Well, tonight we're celebrating Perfect games, dark. and we've got awesome discounts on many of tonight's nominees with the Game Awards sale across Xbox, Dragon PlayStation, game. Nintendo eShop, Epic Games Depression Store, game. Which one? We also have the Game Awards Festival, a chance to play upcoming games like Little Nightmares 2, and Missed? some of the games are also available chill, chill. instantly with GeForce Now. So make sure to check that out. You can stream on any device with no downloads on GeForce Now. Well, we also have a lot of great stuff coming up. We'll have performances from the London Philharmonic Orchestra and Eddie Vedder. But right now, two years ago, we announced at the Game Awards Scavengers from Midwinter Entertainment. Everyone has been wondering when they'll get to play it. For news on that, let's hear from Midwinter's Josh Holmes. Thanks, Jeff. I do have a really exciting update for you, but first, I just want to thank the many thousands of players who've been testing the game with us over the past year. Your feedback and your support means the world to us. We couldn't do this without you. But today, I have big news to share. Explorers. It's time. 
What game is this? You'll face off against many others. There are countless strategies and paths to success. Find the ones that get you back alive. This is where the real fun starts. I've been preparing I hope so. for years. <laughs> Rock bottom. Now, I need you. Keep up. What if you can see me? I'll play this. This looks pretty good. Everything is in place. Your test begins now. Oh, now. Oh, that's what they meant. Okay. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. All right. So there you have it. The PC closed beta for scavengers starts right now. If you're part of our community, you can play with your existing Steam key. I'm gonna try to but we're also get in that beta. 50,000 slots Hold for up. new players. Wait for it to so be a bounty. PlayScavengers.com. Sign up for free. I'm signing and up we'll right see now. See you in the game. I'll try it. Yeah, all these games came out. Yeah, I played I played them. Yeah. Yeah, I did play these. Yeah. Yeah, they were good. They're good games, you know? Having fun? That's a pog for me, you know? Yep. Any fun havers? I love to have fun. I love video games. How about you guys? You guys like games? Cause th these, those are games. You thought you could get rid of me, but you can't. Anyways, Instagram and the Game Awards have teamed up for weirdly six insecure. New AR I like you. you can share to Instagram Come on, reels. you're nice. I played with them yesterday at home and posted to the Game Awards profile. Check it out. I don't want you to leave. You can You're transport nice yourself to Final Fantasy VII's train station, transform into the Doom Slayer, don the mask of the Ghost of Tsushima, sneak through The Last of Us, or even become Zagreus from Hades. To create your own, just head over to I'm happy you're here, host. Yeah. Instagram, Although I know gamers probably are being very mean. To Instagram so. Reels. I like her. And I'll be she's, back later she's, to show she's off good. Some she's of good at her job. Creations. You're doing great. I sleep. Uh, I'm trying to get in this fucking scavengers beta. Hold on. Sign in with Google, maybe? Cars 4. <laughs> Cars, bro. I'll never forget the time I wanted an arcade racer. Because arcade racing has been dead since Burnout Paradise City. So I thought I had an arcade racer, right? So I tried to play fucking dirt. Because everybody's like, oh, Dirt 5, that's an arcade racer. And then I played it, and there were so many fucking switches. It was a sim. I was so go. upset. Forza, Cross, Cyberpunk, and later, Keanu Reeve, Johnny Silverhand himself, will be joining us to present the Best Direction Award. With his Stay really cool that. gun. Uh, but welcome back. Now, coming up next, we're going to present the Best Ongoing Game Award in the Twitch community. Thinks Fortnite is going to win that. Burnout Paradise do be good, though. Votes. Nope. Well, let's find out the Twitch community. Burnout Paradise is, right. is cringe. Uh, game we're sucks. We're going to present the Best Ongoing Game, which recognizes five Killed one of my favorite genres. that continue to deliver for fans. Here oh, I didn't see the, the, the typo. Whoops. Best ongoing game. Here I go. Burnout Revenge? Yep. I'll shake to that one. That's a good one. Ongoing game? I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. Give it to No Man's Sky, dude. For all that they've done. For all that they've done, for all that they've been through. All right, well, now it's time to reveal Please. the winner. The nominees are joining us here. Hi, guys. They've all done right, so much. Oh, it's our guy. Right. It's Sean. It's Sean. He's been the drinking. The award goes to No Man's Sky. Let's go. Let's fucking go. I'm happy, dude. Well done, Sean. Uh, amazing. <laughs> 
It's normally Twitch is right, Jeff. It's normally Fortnite. It's always Fortnite. I'm happy for us. him, dude. Uh, shit, uh, thank you so much. Um, we're really lucky, you know. We get to come to work every day and make games. I'm happy for this no guy. I I I do. I was a part know? of making fun of him in the past, as was everybody. Uh, it was a very so funny thing to do. Like this, but this poor guy got caught up. Not. You in know, the fucking wave me, of history. Of like, this poor guy. Thank good for him. So much. I'm sure he's Thank a very nice guy, yeah. I definitely made fun Thanks. of him, though. It was very funny. It was very funny. Congratulations. I'm happy Sean for him. Sean Murray, No Man's Sky, best ongoing game. Now, every year leading uh, into the show, there's always a lot of speculation, a lot of games. Oh, Will, I saw your you message, but I forgot to respond to it. That tweet was very funny. And when I retweeted it and saw a bunch like of fucking... Check out this. Just all the foreign languages. I was like, what happened? Who did this hit with and where? That was so funny. Yeah, dude, good for Sean. It was 90% Brazil, so it was like Portuguese. <laughs> That's funny. One million views on that shit? Are you serious? Oh my god, dude. Good for Sean Murray, dude. I'm, I'm really happy for him. Bro, it's Cyberpunk 2079 now. What are you drinking? It's it's just sparkling water with water, lemon, and lime. It's very good. Adam Smasher 2. Body horror, a lot of uh, cyberpunk shit, a lot of uh, oh, is that Gus from Breaking Bad? Fuck it, what was his name? What's that guy's name? The Mandalorian guy. He's in everything, and he's always the bad guy. That was him, for sure. 2022, why are you telling me now? So I can start saving money for it. That does look good, though. That does look good. <laughs> Will's tweet made a million impressions. You've made it big. You've made it big. Congrats. I'm feeling some Dead Space vibes, and there's little wonder why. You know him from his work on Dead Space and Call of Duty. Here's the CEO of Striking Distance Studios, oh. Glenn Schofield. Hey, Glenn. <laughs> hey, thanks, Jeff. Well, the Crystal Protocol has been in development. Good for him. For, uh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. That's an okay champ. Well over 100 people on it. It's a single player, third person, Dead Space is story good. driven survival horror game set in the year 2320 on Jupiter's moon of Callisto. Was he ready to go Our on face cam? Yeah, this is a pre recorded video for sure. Game for he looks PC like a high school teacher. Consoles. Yeah, I don't think this guy so to be able makes to the game. I think this guy buys drinks. Awesome. Thank outside you of a liquor store for 16 year olds more about that next year all right announced back in july warhammer i don't think that guy makes Dark video games. is a four-player co-op game from fat shark the developers behind warhammer vermintide 2 well tonight mean i mean i'm sure he's a nice play. guy you know check this out maybe a little mean i'm sorry that guy could beat me up for sure for sure Oh, Vermintide? People said that this is basically just Left 4 Dead. Like, it's sort of Left 4 Dead, you know? Mean equals funny? True, true! Remember what I just said about Sean Murray? True, true, true! He's a nice guy if you're a 16-year-old cheerleader. Uh, not Vermintide, different Warhammer? Oh, well... They're all the same, right? It's like World of Warcraft, right? Is that the Lich King? Is that a Murloc? Is that his name? You just angered three people. 
Yeah, man. Oh, Vermintide, Dark Tide. Now it is time to recognize some other winners. You're watching on in Twitch Gaming and not the Game Awards? Oh, I am. Oh, the there's a delay? Are Final Fantasy VII Remake. All right, well, now's Ghost the right time. Shima, Sorry. Hades. Or oh, no. How embarrassing. It's Hades won. Congratulations, Good. Super Giant. Good for in Hades. The category of Best VR AR, the nominees are... Dream, Get away. Half-Life Alex. Marvel's Iron Man Hades VR, deserved it, for sure. Star for sure, Wars for sure. Squadrons. And The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. And the game award goes to Half-Life Alex. Congratulations to Valve. For best sports racing game, those nominees okay. are Dirt 5, F1 2020, FIFA 21, NBA 2K21, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. And the game award goes to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. You lost to a 30-year-old game? And what for the, the fuck? Most anticipated game, Voted on on Twitter this Holy year. Holy shit, it's a fucking remake. Elden Ring. There I said it. God Doesn't exist. Sequel, Doesn't exist. Halo Infinite, Horizon Forbidden West, Resident Evil Village, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel. And your most anticipated Elden Ring does game not exist. is Elden Ring. Elden Ring is not real. Congratulations to From Software. All right. This next game comes from the creators of Gone Home and Tacoma. The Fulbright Company and Annapurna Interactive present one part road trip, one part mystery. Oh, Tim Ring is not. Two the myth lives voices. on. Check it out. God damn it. Uh oh. It's whimsical. Uses black and white. I wonder. My name is Testavine. Somebody's depressed, right? And Somebody's the got to be depressed. passing me by. Oh, how do you feel I about guess it? As I get a little older, I'm starting to feel how things change. Yeah. They decline and go away. Really? That's how it was with my grandma. I loved her so much. I thought I knew her better than anyone. But looking through her old things, we found hints of something she never told Gone us. Gone home too. A man who wasn't my grandfather. A burglary ring. Some sort of. Is it Edith fortune? Finch? We can't ask her about these things anymore. I heard so Edith, Edith Finch is good. I've never we played have to it. We go looking for the answers ourselves. My mom and I are out on the road, searching. I don't know what we'll find, but whatever it is, I know we'll find it. Road trip game? Together. I'll give it up. That's kind of neat. I'll do that. We get it, Cody. Mental health discussion makes you uncomfortable. I want... I, you know what? I just... I I would like other topics. That's all. You know? All right, Come on. This year, we're excited to share some stories about people around the world who Come are on, making man. a positive impact on the gaming community. These are I'm not shaking on that. I'm not shaking on that. with Facebook Gaming. Our first honoree tonight is Latinx in Gaming. Check out this important story. Name one indie game that's not about depression. When I was starting in the games industry as a Latin expert, literally person, one. I felt quite invisible. Minecraft. It still feels like I'm the. Odd you can one be out. depressed in Minecraft. I felt alone. I was often the. Cuphead only is woman depressing if you're not good at video woman. games. I think about how hard it was for me to get where I am today, and I don't want anyone to go through that anymore. And we'll lose that. Yeah. Next in gaming, our content. Our voices. Latinx and Gaming is a group of people that are dedicated to supporting other people of Latinx descent in the gaming space. The past three years, we've just grown from a really small group into thousands. This was no longer just about game developers. This is about streamers and students and journalists and marketing and fans. Pave the way for people like me. Pave the way for people in our community. Just knowing that there's somebody out there doing what you want to do empowers you to, to chase it. It's a really beautiful thing. I'm trying not to cry. I was this close. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, everyone. My name is Anna Donlin. Sorry, I am the executive producer of Valorant, and I cannot believe that it has been only half a year since we launched this game. Oh, no. Our Valorant community has shown oh, up no. in such a huge way, oh, helping no. us take this tax shooter from He's an idea gone. to a home for He's tens gone. of millions of players around the world. 
To celebrate this, we've teamed up with the Game Awards to highlight one of the most vital pieces of our community. <laughs> Honestly, the ones that got us started in the first place are Valorant streamers. Together, Never we ever. ran a fan vote. Never to ever. Name the best emerging Valorant streamer from our global community list. We'll announce the winner before the end of the show, and then we'll all go raid their stream together. Again, I want to thank you all for playing Valorant, and I'll leave you with just a taste of what we've all done together this year. The potential of Valorant. I love it. Let's go, baby. Holy oh shit, dude. Will's tweet? I got this. What the fuck? Will went crazy. I've never had a tweet do this. Let's go, Will. Will's an influencer, bro. That's my fucking boy. Thank you for stopping by the stream. It was in some games journal articles. Big influence, baby. Well done. The ending of that clip is so good. <laughs> it's just someone else that took the chair. It's so good. Earlier today, we tweeted out that there is a special event happening right now in Pokemon Go. Well, now's the time to bring out your phones and start catching because we're officially on a Wooper Watch. Wooper Watch! So We've partnered with our friends at Pokemon Go to keep an eye on the Pokemon and throughout the night, we'll let you know when large numbers of Wooper will appear in the wild. We've also been told you could encounter a shiny Wooper if you're lucky, so open up Pokemon Go and catch some Wooper while you watch this evening. Good game, good game, good game. Good game. I remember very little from it, but good game. Get up, detective. One last time. The great city at the end of the world is waiting. So, get out there. Solve a murder with a unique skill system at your disposal. Good game, yeah. Carve your own path across an award-winning open world. Yep. You and can punch a kid. Yep. Yep. You more can do that. In this groundbreaking role playing game, meet and get to know more of the locals. Welcome to reality, baby. I tried it, got soft locked in an hour and dropped it. Oh, really? You only find your gun. It's okay. With full voice acting for every single one of the city's beautiful people. Um, yes, I'm going to unplug the microphone, okay? And leave a bigger mark behind you in new quests. You're big, you can handle it. Thank you, Sailor Snow. This game has a soft lock spot at the end of it, too. By the way, that was a big spoiler they just showed. Can't believe they showed that. Enjoy the definitive edition of this hit RPG, Disco Elysium. The final cut. Good game. A free upgrade for um, all players. So there's a point at the end of that game where if you don't have a certain skill leveled up, you cannot beat it. And you only have a certain amount of time to beat the game. It's like a sever several days. Uh, but you there's a there's a skill check that you have to pass. It's vi it's it's so annoying because everything else is is like totally open. But there's one check near the end that you have to have a certain level of perception. It's very annoying. Welcome back to the Game Awards. That's so exciting. I think they Disco fixed it now. Okay. You, remember last you know the year, one I'm talking about, right? Like, that was so annoying. At the Game Awards. So awesome news. All right. Do they well, hint at all? Kind of. Dragon Age they kind of hint. They're like, you feel something, but you don't know right what it is. Now, the team at Bioware, but like, you, you might not have any quests to keep leveling up. So you might just be stuck forever. Enjoy. That sounds like bad design. It kind of was. It bottlenecks in that one spot. Face tyrants and would be gods. Seen friends lose life and limb. Didn't Dragon Age have some kind of scandal recently but with like one of its actors? I didn't. On I don't know anything about world. it. But it was just an oversight for sure. Yeah, 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 for sure. It was just a little mistake, but it was still like a weird bottleneck. It's time for a new hero. 
just the two founders left the studio? No I saw the two founders left the studio, but I also thought I saw something about no one of the actors shit talking one of the people that left. The voice actor for Cullen is a shithead. Okay, that's the kind of person they'll never see coming. We've got your back. I've got your back. Demons, dragons, dark spawn. Even the dread wolf. Vampire this is your story. Or is that an elf? I think that's a vampire, right? That's a Nosferatu. I want to suck your blood. All right, we're back, and I'm, I'm trapped in our set now. I don't know what's going on. I All love right, this well, so much. Next, we'll have a look at an exciting new tactical squad-based roguelite game set in the Endless Universe. Here is another new game announcement. Jeff's about to play the phone. I'll get out of that sphere if I were you. I'd announce the next game if I were you. Transistor? Yeah, I'm like... Dude, we're really in an age of, like, future games, man. Aliens and cyberpunk shit and Horizon and, like... It's interesting how things shift. Wait, is this Outer Wilds? I didn't play that, but it looks like this. Many of these, dude. Thank you, South Park Carl. So South Paul Carl. There, we go. there. We go. Endless dungeon. No thanks. No thanks. It looks like a. Right, it's. Uh, it looks like they're really trying cool. to do Our a super giant game. Premiere comes from South Korea. Crimson Desert, the new open-world action-adventure game from Pearl Abyss. This next-gen game offers in-depth, story-driven single-player content in an MMO setting. What you're about that to was, see includes that was the actual most gameplay marketing footage. copy this I've ever is heard. The beautiful and merciless world of Crimson in Desert. In-depth single-player action-adventure combat. Dude, what if Sephiroth sucks? <laughs> what if he's so shitty? What if he's so bad? What if this character is so... Oh, I don't care about this. I... I mean, it looks pretty, you know? It's just... Okay, that's very pretty. Good shot. Good movie, good movie. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. It looks good. Yeah, what's the... <laughs> no sound?
They put the visuals on 10 and the sound on zero. Tours. And yeah, it's it's Game of War. Yeah. Okay. It's Game of Thrones. I get it. Yeah. Yep. Okay, this is from Minecraft. Cinematic! Oh, look at that! Graphics up to 10, frame rate on 2! Oh, yes! Wow, look at that! I love it! Big fan! Big fan! It's like I'm watching half of a movie. I just can't... I can't, like, I... Like, they really showed us all the cutscenes first. Like, doesn't this look cool? Okay, well, hold on, hold on. We gotta do this. It, it's like when you put, like, a pill in cheese so your dog eats it. Look at all these movies. All right, here's a gameplay. Here's a gameplay. Here's a gameplay. Oh my god. <laughs> How much did they pay for this? This is the longest ad I've ever seen. Yet. <laughs> like this is I mean I get I guess that's kind of cool you can ride the dragon like I it's a triple-A version of Unity Gangs the Sniper Games. It, it definitely looks like somebody played Gangsta Magic and was like... I can't read that. Oh, Crimson Desert. Okay. No thanks. That's a no thanks from me. I love having new IP and new teams on stage. Uh, South Korea, that's fantastic. Crimson Desert. All right. Now I think Jeff loves going award, to the bathroom in the middle of the show, and that gave him year, ample the time. Of Tenet, John David Washington. I love hey, it John. when I get to pee during an hey, announcement. Jeff, thanks for inviting me to the Game Awards. As you know, in Christopher Nolan's latest film, Tenet, I played a character called the protagonist. Very literally named narrative, and I thought that was a cool name for a character. It reminded me a little bit of playing video games, where, where we're all the protagonists, helping to tell the story of the game with our choices. Great narratives in games are the perfect balance of that feeling of being in control, but also being guided by brilliant storytellers. And so, these are the nominees for Best Narrative. <laughs> Best narrative. I told you no one gets He's never played a video game. Never. Video games? Oh, like Pac-Man? They got stories? I will sacrifice everything for my home. I don't know. A touching reunion. What? This can't be real. That's vanillaware, isn't it? Will? 
Will? And Where's the game Will? Award goes to The Last of Us Part Two. Oh my God! Okay, this is the first award acceptance speech I've ever done, so I wrote it down so I wouldn't mess it up. But Last right, of Us is sweeping. Is um, first off, it's such an honor to be nominated with so many incredible games that came out this year. So truly, truly. Um, of course, I've got to thank my co-writer and the director of The Last of Us Part Two, Neil Druckmann, oh, who was man. courageous enough to tell such a ballsy story. Um, and a big shout out and thanks also to our other writers, um, Josh Scher and Ryan James, and of course, the entire Naughty Dog studio. This game is what it is because of the collaborative nature at that studio and their love of narrative. Um, and of course, <sighs> thank you mostly and always Why are to Last the of fans. Us people the only These ones who get acceptance so speeches? Us, and we're really touched that they resonated with you as well. So thank you. <laughs> right now, we've got a very special guest who has some exciting news for all you virtual chefs out there. Joining us all the way from his kitchen, it's the Swedish chef. Chef, are you there? Where is his kitchen? Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> He has a human hand. That's so weird. Uh, uh, chef, I, I'm so sorry. There are two to people you operating uh, this. You're looking sharp in that tux, by the way. Uh, my Swedish, it's a little rusty, but I think there's been uh, a little bit of confusion, honestly. No, no, no. It's for the win. Thank you for the shooty, Cuban de Frugi. If we're taking over. Isn't this offensive? No, no, Chef. He's I'm married. so sorry, but you didn't actually win a game award. That trophy you've got, honestly, it, it, it kind of looks like leftovers. Anyways, you're supposed to be sharing an announcement what here uh, about a co op game. Swedish the Chef is married. Uh, no, a co op game. Like a fun, cool new game with a playable character named Swedish Chef. <gasps> Me? For the play -Doh? Yes, that is why you're here for a world premiere. Let's take ooh, a look. Ooh, okay, okay. Ooh. An overcooked, maybe? Oh, dude. That's cool. Dude, good for them. Good for overcooked. For getting big enough that the Muppets are in your game, dude. That's cool. Wait, only Swedish chef? You couldn't get Kermit? Or Miss and there Piggy. you have it. What do you think, Chef? Oh my. Uh, all right. Well, congratulations to the <laughs> Swedish Chef. Uh, this time, it's real. <laughs> Swedish <laughs> Chef is playable in Overcooked All You Can Eat on PS5 and Xbox Series X, and he's available right now. Coming up, Gal Gadot is presenting our Games cool. for Impact Award, and we'll head to Abbey Road Studios Games to celebrate Mario's 35th anniversary with the world-famous London Philharmonic Orchestra. But right now, let's hear from Dr. Lupo about a new initiative at the Game Awards, Future Class. Hey y'all, I'm Dr. Lupo, and tonight I'm honored to partner with Gillette to introduce the Game Awards Future Class, hmm? a group of thinkers, dreamers, and pioneers who represent the bright, bold, and inclusive future of video games. Oh yeah. Games have really changed my life, to be honest with you. My name is Royce Payne. I'm a senior computer science major at Morehouse College, and I'm currently playing on the Morehouse Maroon Tiger gaming team. We see other big... This is gonna sound so mean, but whenever I see ads like this, it's like, okay, this is really cool, this is awesome, and then it cuts to their game, and it's like Pac-Man. I'm like... <laughs> We're just a collection of HBCUs... Like, I, you know, like... ...gamers who want to compete... Every single time! It's, it's like, it's like, we're making games together. It's like, like okay, that's awesome, that's great, I'm so glad you're making games. And, and then it's like, door, Temple Run. Me. That's and you're like... For me. And I feel so mean <laughs> saying that, because, like, good for them, oh, hi, but, everyone. like... I hope you're enjoying the Game Awards. I'm Alana Pierce, coming at you live from my mansion. As someone with a chronic respiratory illness, I've had to find some unique ways to deal with the 2020 situation. Like, maybe I go for a swim in my Olympic-sized... That's not Olympic. The, the Olympic one is indoors, so... But I know that there are some people out there watching this that are depending on things like vaping to try to calm themselves down. However... 
The high levels of nicotine that you can be inhaling can actually worsen your anxiety and just kind of fight against the mental health battle that is this year. Not that I would know because, you know. But that doesn't mean I'm not trying to look out for you. <laughs> for those of you who are looking to quit vaping, which I hope you are, This Is Quitting is a free text-based program with a free built-in support system. Text Game Awards to 88709 now. Nintendo Switch has games! Oh no. The Last of Us is sweeping. Keith, we knew this would happen. Most of the hate was in the minority and superficial. We? Keith? Mm. We coming together to make an unreal franchise tonight. They're teaming up again for this epic game store world reveal, which you can play right now. <laughs> Operator, our odds of dominating. No thanks. Earlier, I asked you to head over to Instagram to post our Game of the Year AR effects to your reel. Let's check out a couple of your creations. Looking great. Keep posting on Instagram, and I'll share some more in just a bit. Now back to your host, Jeff Keeley. Thank you very much, Sid. Last month, Call of Duty invited players to unravel a conspiracy decades in the making with the release of Black Ops Cold War. On December 16th, Season 1 <sighs> kicks off. Free multiplayer maps, more weapons, and more operators. And for Warzone players, a massive update of content, including a new close quarters map, Rebirth Island. Here's your first look at the gameplay of Season 1. This will make someone very happy. Someone that is not me. Sephiroth comes out on the 18th? Word? Is that true? Thank you, Xana. Oh no, wait, it's just the trailer. Well, they, he might come out on the 18th. Presentation on 17th with a release date. Okay. He might come out. I don't know. Probably not. So the 17th is a week from today, right? Okay. Sounds like content! That means I get two YouTube videos, Pog! I get to milk it. It's not for me. It's not for me. I'm trying to get away from Smash on YouTube. This is for Vince. Vince gets a payday. Oh, and if you want to see what those videos are going to be, why don't you go ahead and go over to the YouTube? It's free to subscribe. Kill the rest. Adler is mine. That'll make some people happy, yeah. Good. We knew this year that the Game Awards Orchestra wasn't going to be easy to oh, pull off. Oh, man. But we had to try. I know how much we all love video oh, games. Oh, no. Well, I'm really proud of what we've got for you right now. Uh -oh. This is an anniversary year, the 35th anniversary of Nintendo's uh -oh. all-time classic Super Mario Brothers, originally released in 1985. 
here to perform a medley of Mario songs from the legendary Abbey Road Studios in London. <laughs> this is the world-class London Philharmonic Orchestra led by conductor <laughs> Lauren Bauer. Enjoy. This is a big pogo. <laughs> the DMCA Orchestra. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. This is so funny. That's so funny. Look at the chat. It's followers only. Brandon Cancer. Brandon Cancer. Sorry. They, uh... Whew. That kind of makes everything better, doesn't it? Wow. Uh, thank you to Lauren and the London Philharmonic. They'll be back again later in the show. And Eddie Vedder's coming up, too. So lots of shows still to come. Lots of us are in lockdown right now. I know it might feel normal tonight to see all these games, but we're all in lockdown, and I know we all can't wait to go Ooh. back outside to travel the world, meet new people. Well, until then, here is a game where you can do all of that as you explore and record disappearing cultures in a strange, beautiful world. This I'm still game laughing. is just stunning, and it's coming. I'm still laughing at the five. DMCA orchestra, yeah. like targeting your stream. He's watching. Play the song. <laughs> oh, that's so funny to me. It's just bugs. For a thousand years. And our parents had a century to themselves. But us, we have one season. I like that character design. I dig that. I like this. I like that one. That one was cool. I like that one. That one was pretty. Beautiful. That's Seasons. All right. Well, now it's time to present another Game Award. She's the star of the upcoming film Wonder Woman 1984. Here is Gal Gadot. Hey, Gal. Thanks, Jeff. I'm honored to be here at the Game Awards. Lots of video games are fun to play, but each year, a select few games deliver a deeper message. They focus on subjects that can be historical, political, or deeply personal. The Games for Impact Award honors socially progressive projects that have the potential to inspire real change in the world. 
Here are the nominees. Games for Impact. Damn, dude. Hold on. Keith said that Last of Us 2 is the most completed game in Sony history? Did you guys know that? What does that mean? Like, beating it to the end. You can check that by trophy. Like, see the trophy... Who had the... had the? Because, like, if you look at the... bat, I don't care about this. If you look at the Battleborn trophy... Or Battleborn... Bloodborne trophy, like, only 20% of players beat Gascoin. Is that true? That's actually wild. Admiration for all of tonight's nominees, especially those that have used their I'm sure PS2 or One Games have a better rate. Well, yeah, obviously, but like in modern history. People with sincerity and heart. Here's to a future where even more marginalized people can see themselves and their experiences truly reflected in the games they play. Thank you so, so much. Congratulations. Everyone's joining us live. The tech is working. This is amazing, and it's so cool to see everyone. Um, all right, well, right now we've got another brand new game announcement for you. Check this out. Unexpected. The game is called Unexpected. Bug snacks again. It's time to go. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? What are you doing here? Family. I love my family. <laughs> family is what matters. Oh man. What if it's not Vin Diesel? What if it's actually not Vin Diesel? What if, what if it's just somebody that looks exactly like Vin Diesel, but it's not actually him? Vin Diesel is in a dinosaur game? Gotta save my family. Bro, what if it is Turok? Vin Diesel is Turok. Imagine Vin Diesel played God of War and was like, I want to play that. I want to be in God of War.
<laughs> Holy shit. Wait, no, it's a future game? What the fuck? Wait, what? Wait, it's Ark? Oh, it is Ark. What? It's every game. It's Ark? It's her. Okay, but it actually is Ark. Okay, alright. Yep. Ark 2! Good for him. Yeah, that's right. Arc 2 starring Vin Diesel. And the team at Studio Wildcard has one more announcement for all Arc fans. Check this out. Can you feel it? The balance of nature has been altered. There is someone out there who may change our fate, who could lead us out of the darkness. And yet I wonder, hunted and alone <sighs> on this strange new world, will she be able to survive? Fast and the Furious. That's pretty good. Dinosaur Korra? Like, what? Yeah, I don't. Does Ark make that much money? Good for them. Some. Check it out. Good boy. Last of Us Part 2 is the highest completion rate of any major PS4 game. 58%. Final Fantasy 7 Remake, God of War, Spider-Man, Ghost of Sushi. Damn, dude! That's actually huge. Red Dead 2, I believe, yeah. Do we know this? I know Gerard Butler. Carl Urban, yep. Russell Crowe and Vin Diesel. Malcolm McDowell? Like Clockwork Orange? What the fuck? It has been a Dude, that's crazy. crazy. That's Fall actually guys. nuts. It became a massive phenomenon and we all had fun with it. Uh, this and then? Especially when we were all in lockdown. This holiday season, Fall Guys is back with a winter wonderland for season three. Here's your first look. Oh, man. Oh, man. I wonder what the chat is like. Dead game? Dead game. Yeah, I, it, poor Fall Guys, dude. You think that's actually DMCA? No, it's not the real one, right? DMC, chat is saying DMCA. All right. Poor Fall Guys. This level is called the Slick Isis. Oh, wait. <laughs> I meant like ice. Slick, slick icing. Ice. <laughs> no, no, never mind. Never mind. I was trying to do a bit. I was trying to. I was trying. All right, never mind. It's. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like ice, you know? Like Yetus, you know, with the us, you know? Not. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. We'll throw that one away. We'll, th <laughs> we'll throw that one away. Okay, that that one, you know. The game festival is going on right now. Wonder what the next game is. All the game festival demos using any device. Uh, <laughs> nice own, try, Cody. Thank you. you thank you. Check that out. Uh, the game festival, lots of amazing games you can play all weekend long. All right, coming up next, Tom Holland, Nolan North, and the award for best multiplayer. More awards and announcements, and later we've got Reggie, Keanu Reeves, plus Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam playing his song from The Last of Us Part 2. But right now, 
Elite Dangerous is a space sim MMO from Frontier. Players have been exploring the galaxy for nearly four decades. Here is the gameplay reveal of Odyssey, which lets you explore on foot for the first time. Okay. Thank you, modem. Wait. I, this is actually DMCA, right? That song actually is DMCA. Okay, that's absolutely DMCA. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'll go to jail tonight. <laughs> I wonder what's gonna happen with that. Because I think a lot of people do watch this with a streamer. So, like, the streamers have to shut this off, you know? Wonder what the chat's saying. <laughs> Literally the first thing. DMCA, DMCA, DMCA. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, another future game. Cool. It's in space. There won't be any strikes for restreams live. He said that? Really? How does he know? They'll strike me in a year. No, no. Jeff Keighley said not to. We all need a way of coping with what's going on in the world. Games is an incredible way of doing that. I'm Jennifer Hazel. I'm a medical doctor. When I started specializing in mental health specifically, something clicked. I realized that all my life I'd been using video games as a way of nurturing my own well-being. And I wondered if other people could do that too. Hi, this is Dr. And so Jennifer I established Hazel. Checkpoint to bring mental health resources to the gaming community. What is mental health? We use games as a oh, medium no. to raise awareness. Not that one. To reduce stigma and to provide real tangible resources to people who are struggling that they can use in their everyday life. That's Above nice. Else, I want people Good. to know that it's okay to be struggling at the moment. There are resources out there, and it will help, and it will get better. Oh. They really tried to slip that in at the end. That's crazy. That was a Facebook ad the whole time. If you don't want to end up as worm food, what worked for you in the old world won't work here. Holy shit. Facebook really tried to sneak itself at the end. That's so writing, funny. You need to shift your mind into a higher gear. So let me walk you through the mantras of survival. Could I have your attention, please? First, cover is for cowards. True. That's right. You can use cover. Nobody True. Stop, but you're a biological sledgehammer. Agree. Like Chuck yourself into the fray. Two, your powers are on tap. You feel that tingling in your fingertips? Your powers are ready to be unleashed. Don't keep them waiting. Three. It's Battle Boy. You've got to kill to heal. There's no use licking your wounds. Want your health back? Get out there and take it. Violence and breeds vitality. Okay. And finally, guiding. I like that. Dead. You have to think aggressive. Oh, Jeez. God, that was loud. <laughs> Elite Dangerous came out in 2015 Why your donation options listed as $1.50, $5, $10 and then it goes to $100,000 and the final option well, being $99,999. Because that's, I want you to have a choice. I want you to have choices. Sorry that's so loud by the way. Holy shit. I gotta turn those down. It's like, it's not a furry game. They're not furries, they're animals. You can't call these furries. Like that's a rabbit. That's literally a rabbit. They literally are anthros. I mean, kind of, in that they're wearing clothes. Fist. I'll give it up for that game. That game looks cool. 
By the way, hold on. Guys, guys. New video on the YouTube. Let's go, Vince. Let's go, Vince. Right now. Well done, Vince. Woo! I have no idea how it'll do. Now that's content, baby. I have three down, three up. Oh, God. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks, it's, uh, Vince. Tom Holland here. I am in Atlanta on the set of the next Spider-Man film. Can I give I you a pog face for the thumbnail? The Just... Awards tonight. You know that for the past few years, I've been working on the Uncharted movie, which did involve some extensive research playing the games. I'm honored to be playing Nathan Drake. What I can assure you is that we really want to honor Naughty Dog's amazing games. You know, so I didn't I didn't see him as Nathan, Nathan Drake, Drake at all, the but we then they said he was like young Nathan Drake, it's and I'm now like, my okay. honor to introduce my good friend, Nathan Drake. Please welcome Mr. Nolan North. Thank you, Tom. I could not be more proud of you. You know, someday when someone searches for Nathan Drake on IMDb, and you are the first result, I will only be remarkably bitter. You know, video games allow us to connect with friends, family, and complete strangers. We can share memorable experiences funny. beyond the confines of our own homes. Or That's pretty travel good. To good joke, yeah. Worlds with our buddies on the couch next to us. Of all the years I've been grateful for multiplayer games, they've never been more important to us than they were in this historically crappy, rotten, no good, cursed year. These are the nominees for best multiplayer. I actually don't know. Presented by Instagram. Is it? I was gonna say, is it Among Us? Is this people voting, or is it? And the game I actually don't know. Goes too. Among Us. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Damn. That's oh, crazy. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Losing out to uh, a game that's oh, two years you. old, I, made by three people. Everyone who voted for us. Holy fuck. Um, also to all the that's so sad. Um, it's an honor to have won best multiplayer category. Our goal with Among Us from the beginning was to create a fun experience amongst friends. Uh, Two years ago, Among Us started with uh, local mobile and then um, online and PC, and the rest is history. That's crazy. Now more than ever, finding ways to connect with friends is increasingly significant, and we're so happy many of you turned to Among Us to play with friends and family. Big thank you to Robot Teddy, Dual Studio, and our other partners for helping us navigate all the excitement. Thank you to our moderators and the fans who have been on this journey Good for, them. for the past two years. <laughs> And big thank you to our friends and family. You have helped us test and been incredibly supportive through it all. Good thank for them. So thank you. Thank you. Tonight, you've been using Instagram's custom Game of the Year AR effects to add a snazzy trophy to your reel. Let's check out a couple of those. You're all winners in my book. Keep making those trophies, and I'll be back with more later. Now back to Jeff. All right, thanks very much, Sydney, and congratulations to Intersloft later among us, among us, the new map <laughs> reveal. All right, now we've got another brand new game announcement. This one is fun. It's one of your favorite supernatural horror franchises, and it looks like a bloody good time. Check it out. Supernatural. Oh, I didn't hear among us. Come on, people misspeak. Supernatural. I had a real life. I had a wonderful girlfriend, Linda. Together we drove to a small cabin in the mountains. This is is this Dead by Daylight? The of the dead. <laughs> it seems an archaeologist had come to this remote place to translate and study. His wait, it's Evil mind. Dead? Oh wait, really? It was never meant for the world of the living. The book awoke something dark in the woods. Linda. Oh, neat. I've never seen Evil Dead. I've seen the second one. And then it came for me. Like a tower defense? You defending the cabin?
looks like the people that made Friday the 13th. Good for them. There you go, Evil Dead the game. Next up, a classic game franchise is being remade. Take a look at this announcement. Oh, I thought it was Power Stone. I thought Power Stone had a scroll at the start. Looks like shit! Nope. I won't give it up. No purse from me. No thanks! <laughs> what the fuck is this song? Okay. Free download. That's kind of neat. We love ourselves some Capcom arcade classics. We're now going to recognize some more winners. Yepers, yep, the Nodders. of best independent game. The Nodders for me. Are Carrion, Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout, Hades, Spelunky 2, and Spiritfire. It has to be Hades. And the game it has to be. Goes to it has to be. Hades, congratulations, yeah. Super Yeah, I mean, it's in the contest for the game for of the year. Audio like, design. Those nominees are Nodders, Doom Nodders. Eternal, they have to put all the, all the awards Half in together Alex. now. Resident Evil 3 and Audio the Design? Last of I don't Us Part know. 2. I don't know. And our winner is, is it Last of Us? The Last of Us Part 2. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. For best Fine. Role playing game. The nominees this year are Final Fantasy 7 Remake, Genshin Impact, Persona 5 Royal, Wasteland 3, and Yakuza Like a Dragon. And the game award goes to The Last of Us Final Part Fantasy 2. Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Congrats Square. In the category of best simulation or strategy game, those nominees are Crusader Kings 3, Desperados 3, Gears Tactics, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and XCOM Chimera Squad. And the winner is Microsoft Flight Simulator. Cool. Congratulations. And in our fan category, Player's Voice, this you is, voted tournament style just, to pick your favorite Next award, game. next award, next award, next award. five nominees were Doom Eternal, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and The Last of Us Part Two. Here it comes. And the winner, as you may know, we Here announced it online. Congratulations to Sucker Punch, oh. Ghost of Tsushima. Didn't now, expect we've that. Got one more for you. This is for best fighting game, and here to help us out from Netflix's Cobra Kai, two great rivals from film history, Ralph Macchio and Yuji Okamoto. Hey, what's up, Game Awards? <laughs> game Awards, what's up? Hey, Ralph. Do you know who wins this? No, how would I? No, I mean, we haven't even read the nominees yet. Grand Piano, what a flex. <laughs> because I'm not in a game. Oh, come so. on. You were in a game? Karate Kid for Nintendo 1987. And your karate was weak. All right, Yuji, listen, whatever, okay? Why don't we just read off the list of nominees, huh? Oh, right. Best fighting game, Brand Blue Fantasy Versus. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. Street Fighter V Champion Edition. One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows. Under Night in Birth. And here we go. The Game Award goes to... Sorry, it's... it's me stuck. <laughs> Somebody glue this thing? <laughs> I got you, Macho. <laughs> and he sent him a fake one. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. What a trickster. Congrats, guys. Mortal Kombat awesome. wins again. All right, uh, congratulations to Mortal Kombat and thanks to Ralph and Yuji. One of the things I have really uh, been missing this year is flying around the world, but luckily we have one of the most beautiful games of the year to help fill that void a little. It just won Best uh, Simulation Strategy Game, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and next year it's coming to Xbox. Here's what that's yeah, going to look like. Yeah, those shoes are goofy. It's an airborne view no, I can't of deal with the shoes. World. All right, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator looks amazing coming next summer to Xbox. And now it's time to take a look at another game coming to PlayStation 5. Check it out.
my end is waiting at the beginning. I forgot to record uh, every game that's coming out, so I stopped at my list. So we'll have to rebuild this tonight. The crash. It's not every PT. Just because there's a door, it's not PT, guys. It's Risk of Rain 3. It actually is Risk of Rain. Oh god, that frame rate. Yuck. Yuck. I literally cannot with this. Returnal. Another end. Another beginning. What an ugly name. All right, we will be back in just a moment with a man, a mean, a man, a meme, a legend, Reggie. He's going to join us. We've also got a new look at a game from a guy you might remember from one of the craziest, most unscripted moments in Game Awards history, Joseph Perez. Plus, Eddie Vedder will play his song from The Last of Us Part Two, and later Jack Septicai joins us from Europe to present Content Creator of the Year, presented by Adobe. Lots of great stuff coming up here on the Game Awards. We will see you right after this. What are you training for? What will you do with this strength? Oh God! Oh God! It's You're so loud. You're such a good player. It's so loud. I'm sorry. I continue winning. I I'm sorry. I forgot. So that I never. Thank you, Modem. Thank you. Oh God! No more donations. No more donations. I can take subs. No more donations. That was definitely that meme image of like the the Wojak. What the fuck? Back in the day, I sold all of my TF2 inventory for a copy of Super Meat Boy. It was $3 on sale. Holy fuck! Jesus Christ! I did. I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Guys, I'm sorry. I'll fix it. I, My name no, is Rod, stop. Stop. But you can call me Hold Rog on. the Donation Reader. No, you know. That's I, a nice ring guys. Suit, don't you think? Fuck you. There's no easy way to fix this. Gonna keep donating because no. now I have the power to make your ears suffer. Guys, you don't understand. Every I have to do. Here's what I have to do to fix all of them. I have to. I have to put the volume to like here. And then I have to do that for every single alert. There are so many alerts. So I have to do like 30, 40, 40. There, 40. I have to do this 40 times or several times. Put it down to 40, 39. That's fine. All right, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. It's fine. The show doesn't matter anyway. Thank you, Ecompton, by the way. Fuck. Just leave one of them turned all the way up as a special surprise. Wait. We're missing games. Another road trip game? How far are you from the border? Be careful with the people. Okay, fixed, fixed. We're fixed. We're fixed. We're fixed. We're fixed. And, we're fixed. And don't we're fixed. We're fixed. We're fixed. Roll. <laughs> Is 
Is that the game? It's Temple Run, but... Nineteen ninety six. That looks cool. Cool. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Game Awards. And before we went away there, I meant to tell you that was a look at a new rogue coming to Rogue Company. Um, so make sure to check that out uh, this holiday season. All right. Well, you probably remember this next developer from a few years back. He is not a fan of the Oscars, but he is a fan of colorful language and our show. He's in Stockholm, Sweden And I think tonight, to myself, and he wanted to give us a new look at his next game. Here is my buddy. He really is my friend, Joseph Perez. Hey, Joseph. <laughs> What's up, Jeff? So nice to be back at the Game Awards. As you can see, we're in the middle of mocap shoots. Working That's a good on one. That was funny. <laughs> Trust me when I say this. Hazelight's next co-op only experience, it takes well two, is going to blend narratives and a huge variety of gameplay never done before. And today, we're going to have a gameplay reveal, a word exclusive. I know you like word exclusive, but this one is even extra exclusive, my man. Yeah. Anyway, we're also going to have something that we had in a way out. We call a friend's pass, which means you buy one copy, you get one copy for free. You know, if you play with your friend, you can play with free. With free, with, for free, I mean. <laughs> with free. I love this anyway, guy. It's coming out March 26. Enjoy the trailer. I would give this guy a big Bye. hug. I'd be like, hey, what's going on, buddy? I would. This is. I know him. I feel like I know him. That's my fucking boy. This is the story of a magical king. One of wizards and warriors. Give Santa a big day. Fucking book. The high seas. An odyssey through time. And there is already porn of that book now. There is porn now of that book. Winter Wonderland bobsled sort of thing. You know? Fucking book. Go away. Did I mention the big explosion? Go away. Almost forgot they used to be humans. <laughs> Do you want to know what this story is really about? Yeah. That looked cool. Is this Hold the on. Story of Cody? Ah, ah, it's me. And me. Ah, ah, why do you look like a blob of clay? Wanna change back? Then you need to fix your relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude! I'm gonna throw up. Oh, you're a doll, Cody. You've nothing to throw up. Oh. Told you. This at a DMCA again. But this looks so good. This actually looks very good. I feel stuck. It was a spell. I am telling you. How do we break it? Okay, I got this. Give me some space. I need to think. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I love this game, dude. This looks this looks this is my favorite game of the night, I think. This is my favorite game of the night. I like this game a lot. Unironically, my favorite game of the night. What are you doing? You're not feeling it? No. Okay. You're entitled to your own opinion. Dude. I like that game a lot. I really like that. What an absolutely crazy game. Joseph showed that to me last summer when I was in Stockholm. And I'm like, we have to show this out. There's so I'm a much big fan. There. I'm Thank a big fan, that, dude. Because it looks, right, it's like a unique idea. There's so much creativity. The he was there in Vegas I, for our very that looks really in fucking cool. And he's been back yeah, Joseph only since. hits we all the time. The streak stop this year. I like it. The retired president and COO from Nintendo of America, but still a boss. Reggie Fizeme. Reggie. Jeff, Jeff, how you doing? 
I'm doing good. He's got Rich, the gamer headset. Absolutely. You know, I'm proud to present the very first award for innovation in accessibility. During my time at Nintendo, he couldn't we had get a, mantra, a better gaming for the masses headset. And we pushed that agenda with we Nintendo DS, <laughs> Reggie Gaming, and now Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Reggie got the Turtle Beach. One billion people around the world experience some form of disability <laughs> that makes gaming challenging for them. This award was created to highlight the efforts throughout the gaming industry to make software oh, and no. hardware. That enables games to be played and enjoyed oh. by the widest and most inclusive audience possible. Because gaming is for everything. Here are the nominees. Oh. <laughs> Innovation in accessibility. It's Last of Us, right? Like, Last of Us actually had a lot of shit for it. Like, it deserves this, right? If we're gonna have a category for it, they deserve it. And the award goes to... The Last of Us Part 2. Yeah. I'll give it up. I'm Matthew Gallant, and this is my fellow designer and neighbor, Emilia Schatz. And from everyone at Naughty Dog, we would like to thank you so much for honoring us with this year's Innovation and Accessibility Award. Thank you as well to the Game Awards for choosing to add this category, and to all the other developers who have designed and advocated for accessibility. This is weird. Events. We hope that together we can continue the momentum to push our industry forward. As developers, we know how one small design decision can unlock the entire game for a player. Oh. Games are special for their ability to blur the line between player and character, providing a means for personal engagement with narrative that is unrivaled in other artistic mediums. It's up to us to ensure that everyone can experience that for themselves. We'd like to thank our terrific group of accessibility. Let her in. And we'd absolutely yeah, how does she have a mic outside? Your insight and your your uh detailed feedback that's thank literally you. you guys she's also you like to thank our partners she's you Studios, that's you um our senior producer sam thompson the user oh, experience research funny. team and our dedicated accessibility wait he's QA outside testers. not her i think and they're both also like to thank everybody at naughty they Dog. just have a uh, window in their office effort, and every department had but a part to play in it's like a house window and there are plants uh, lastly we'd like to thank you the players Nothing makes us prouder than hearing stories from players who were able to experience The Last of Us Part Two without assistance, using our accessibility features to remove barriers that would have otherwise Don't know excluded wall. them. From both of us, thank you so much. This is yeah. You need the channel points to get in, guys. Sorry, sorry. You need the channel points. To Naughty Dog, such an important category, and I'm proud that we're able to recognize innovation and accessibility here at the Game Awards. We're gonna do that every year moving forward. This next world premiere gives us our first glimpse at next year's big adventure for the Elder Scrolls Online. Enjoy. Yeah, man. All right, let's name every game. No thanks. Let's name every game so we can so we can make the list. It takes two. The couple game, right, right, right. Returnal, yep. Uh Chia, yeah. That was the other one. Arc 2. The Wukong game. Ghost of Goblins, yep. Good call, good call. Season. Yeah, Season looked good. Crimson Desert. Good call, good call. Scavengers. Yep, yep, yep. I got ba back for blood. Fist, fist. The animal game. Yeah. Rogue something? That was Rogue Company. Road, Road 96. Yeah. Road 96. Dark Tide? Okay, I guess. Yeah. Capcom Arcade. Okay. Endless Dungeon. Damn, you guys are pretty good at this. Whooper Watch. <laughs> Did we get everything? I have Dragon Age up here. It's it's just up here. Evil Dead, Evil Dead. Good call. Dude, you guys are the best. Holy shit. Visual beauty of Genshin Impact. Mobile gaming has had an incredible year. 
Coming up, I'll be revealing the winner of best mobile game presented by LG Wing. Dragon writing game? What was that called? Swivel smartphone. Shady Powered part of me? Uh. Snapdragon. And later, the first look at a brand new map from Among Us. The Game Awards will be right back. They don't show any new trailers in the ads, right? The line between light and dark is so very thin. Let's cross it together. Okay. I think we got everything, right? Slick Isis? <laughs> I can't. I, what a mistake. My bad, my bad. Don't forget Back for Blood. It's actually on top here because this is the first one that I did. Guys, while we have this break, if you want to watch the new YouTube video, you know, it's up. Let me see how it's doing. Dude, yeah, yeah. This is why you guys want to know why we do this? You want to know why we do it? I'm trying to find a way to do this everything without cutting out everything else. Guys. So my views aren't big because I'm not a big channel. But it's my one of ten, which means that of my last ten videos, it is much higher than anything else. By a significant margin. By a big margin. My second place is the Alpha Red video. With like a half of it. That's why we have to do Smash content. Is that a good thing? No! Well, it's a good thing because it makes money. But I don't get any of the money. And I'm trying to get these motherfuckers to watch me not play Smash. But they won't do it. People only want Smash Brothers. I'm so boring. I will admit, your oh God, YouTube video of Web Surf Wednesday increased my anime blog traffic by three times. Thank you for your support. You're welcome. I forgot that I turned down the alerts, but not the TTS. Sorry, everyone. I forgot. I forgot to tell people to subscribe during that, uh, the reveal, too. Damn it. They would have done it. More like star boars. Choo! By the way, uh, you remember how this screenshot that I just showed you showed, uh, let me see. What was it? Yeah, 2.3k? That's actually wrong. The number is climbing so fast it can't keep up. It's at 3.1k. Fuck, man. Leave me alone. I don't want to play Smash. Tonight, go Thank to wbblock.com to get one of the fastest internal SSDs on the market, the SN850 NVMe SSD with heatsink. You nailed it, Jeff. Well done. Those are a lot of letters. Up, 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 Jeff Keighley. Do people not have SSDs, like, across the board? Is it not, like, consumer... Oh, those are the small SSDs. I forgot about those. I don't have one of those, actually. I have the big ones. We've just heard from our friends at Pokemon Go that there is another surge of Wooper appearing... So we're implementing Whooper. another Whooper Watch. Whooper Watch! Bring out your phone and get to catch it. And if you Pokemon Go recently implemented its Go Beyond update, which introduces quarterly seasons. I haven't done that in a while. I've lost all my stamina. And makes earning XP easier for everyone. Pokemon originally discovered in the Kalos region, like Chesson, Mal is gonna Benikin, fucking kill me. and Froki are also making their Pokemon Go debut. There's also a lot of bonuses happening Something now, and it's never been a better oh God, here it comes. to play Pokemon Go. You're my favorite Smash-only streamer, commentator. IDIDNT know you streamed other stuff. Also no NVMe SSDs. Such a pleb. Holy oh, shit. Thank you, Ecompton. Do you know why you Fuck have... Fuck yeah! Yes! Secrets, lies, 
Yes! Dangerous. I love this fucking series. If you are to face what's coming, you must I'm so excited for this. This looks so fucking good, dude. I love Oddworld so much. This game will get a hundred copies sold. Yeah, nobody. I'm so excited. I will be number one streaming that. I will be number one on the channel. For sure. For sure. From IGN and your host for the Game Awards pre-show, this is Sydney Goodman. The number one odd world streamer at 500 viewers. <laughs> if that. Mobile games were once defined by their limitations. In a way, we celebrated the games that excelled despite their platform. As technology has closed the gap, releasing on phones is no longer li a limitation. It's an asset. It's never been more apparent than tonight where the nominees for best mobile game have found massive audiences because of their platform. Here they are. Best mobile game presented by LG Wing oh, and come Qualcomm on. Snapdragon. Come on. Do we need to have the category? Come on. Come on. We both know how this is ending. Oh, I thought that was Young Link. Did you guys hear that? And the Game Award goes to Among Us. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to clap? Uh, uh, thank you again. It sure oh does. Thank you again, Game Awards, and everyone who voted for us. <laughs> um, and congrats again to all the other games that were nominated. Um, we originally designed our game Among Us to be played on mobile devices. So if you found yourself with a group of friends, um, you could easily set up a game. We wanted our game to be accessible at any level of gamer and wanted to create a fun experience to be shared amongst friends and family and whoever. Uh, we want to thank our players first and foremost. Among Us would not be where it is today without you. Um, whether you played Among Us when it was mobile, local only, or played for the first time just yesterday, thank you from the four of us. <laughs> Um, again, big thank you to Robot Teddy, Tool World Studio, and all of our other partners for, for helping us during all of this. Um, yep. And thank you to our moderators and the fans who have been on this journey with us for the past two years. And a big thank you again to our friends and family. We love you and miss you. Thank you for being Isn't so Isn't the supportive. mobile port you, recent? Is it? You. I thought it started on mobile. Is it not? Congratulations to Among Us, second win of the night. Next up, the Monster Hunter franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. This is a new look at Monster Hunter. My name is Rog, but you can call me Rog the Donation Man. Has a nice <laughs> ring so to funny. it, don't you think? Fuck you. Oh, that's funny. Among Us is the best indie game. Four people making a dope ass game is hype. Good for them. I'm happy they won. Nobody knows why this happened. But it came close to wiping out our village last time. That's so loud, I know, I know. Sorry. You guys remember when I played Godfall? The hell was that? That was something. To protect Kamura Village. <laughs> we need you to subscribe to the channel for free with Prime Gaming or for free on YouTube. All right, over on Twitch, the next poll is for Comic Book Player of the Year. You Vote did now it. for who you think is Thank going you. to win, and Thanks, we'll find Ellie. out a little bit who wins that category. But next up, he's one of our industry's great performers, and he plays Joel in The Last of Us. Here is Troy Baker. What the fuck? One day, my tweet was added to a moment. 
Neil, our writer and director, asked me and Ashley <laughs> what, a do. what we would have been if we weren't actors. Looks like a, thought about it for a second cyberpunk NPC. I always imagined I would have been a singer. <laughs> Ashley just shrugged and influenced. In her charming and offhanded way, said, I would have been an astronaut. Neil incorporated parts of us into Ellie and Joel. Space and music became major elements of their stories, creating touching moments between them. One of those moments, now indelible in our memories, incorporated Neil's story as well. Not as a writer, but as a father. It involved a song he would play and sing his to his daughter. His eyes are so sparkly. Yeah. That song was Pearl Jam's Future Days. <laughs> One day, Neil asked if I was comfortable playing it in a scene he was writing for The Last of Us Part Two. That song was Pearl well, Jam's Even Flow. Generally, get nervous, but Even I Flow. What that song meant to Neil and to he, the band. He. And the truth is, Neil can play that song better than me. But nobody can play it better than the person that wrote it. That song was From Pearl Seattle, Jam's Better Man. In future days. Here's she lies one. and says. Oh. All right, so that was <laughs> the song Future Days, and um, you okay, that, Eddie? That song that you might recognize from from The Last of Us, and um, I really appreciate the way that was. Sounds like he's gonna cry. Um, especially bringing Joel and Ellie. Even Flo. <laughs> Music, uh. and, I, and I thought maybe it was cool too that made you <laughs> just even <laughs> perhaps pick up a guitar. Anyway, here's Jeremy. And, and, and write a song for your loved one. Um, uh, I don't know why uh, that's so funny to me. It is nice to be part of this, uh, show my appreciation and be part of this year Game Awards. And um, what a fascinating way to tell a story. It's just getting better and better all the time. And it was cool to be part of it. So uh, thanks for having me, and enjoy the rest of the show. Oh, thanks, Eddie. Doesn't get better than that. Thank you so much, Eddie Vedder, for being That's here nice. on the Game Awards. All right, now here's another brand new game to show you for the first time. Damn, dude. Just one after another. I'll get the list up. Western. <gasps> Ooh. It better not be a future western. Just make a western. Secret Ponchos 2. Fuck, man! Why can't it just be cowboys? Why can't it just be cowboys, dude? God damn it! It's fucking Van Helsing! this dude it's Van Helsing right is it Van no because Van Helsing is like England my name is Roger but you can call me Roger the donation reader he's not even a cowboy anymore he's not even a cowboy anymore shut stone, the fuck cold, up cold stone cold stone cold evil west Fuck out of here. I'm angry. Last. All right, on Twitch, we Thank ask you, you to predict the winners in Content Creator of the Year. And the Twitch audience uh, said Valkyrie with 44% uh, of the vote they think is going to win. So the award for Content Creator of the Year is coming up next. Presented by you Adobe and artist Boss Logic. Used Adobe Creative Cloud to create tributes to the nominees. You'll see those in a minute. And we've also got announcements from Among Us and Fortnite. But right now, Scarlet so Nexus is an upcoming action JRPG from Bandai Namco. Here's a look Cam at off. the brand new trailer. The virtual brain link cable will Ew! Now be this will hurt much more than it did in training. Be strong. Beginning SAS cable connection.
Is this code vain? Good. Seems like you're okay. It's not? It looks exactly like it. Connect your minds and become one. Use the red strings to save the world. I'm so sad that that game wasn't zombies, but, or it wasn't cowboys, by the way. I'm legitimately very sad. I was so excited. Don't bother resisting. I will obtain the red strings. I wouldn't let that happen. Please look at Reggie's setup. Dude, I literally just saw it. Focus. My man is in luxury. He's got his slippers? I kind of want to do a Reggie setup review. Seussisms. <laughs> He's got a laptop. What the fuck is this? Play it on the all-new Xbox. <laughs> nice desk. Oh, he's got the Herman Miller, baby. Me too. Me, me too. I Chair buddies. Often depressed when I look at the status of where we are in terms of depression and anxiety and in a rising stars, the we best and brightest of 1996 restaurant really hospitality. Oh yeah, wasn't he like he like owned a crazy, fucking like a, a Domino's? Here's him with a Adam with a fucking Pizza I'm Hut. A neuroscientist and a neurologist. Started for me, bro. He years loves ago. pizza. I became really interested Same. in this idea of creating experiences as a way of improving brain function, and this relies on a principle called Hell yeah, dude. What a strange man! Shapes itself and modifies I love Reggie, dude. I really do. Challenges. And so that's how it all started for me to create a video wonder how the YouTube video is going. Oh, it's to literally double my next highest video. Way. So it just Why am I mad about this? Ago, Why am I mad about this? Cleared Endeavor RX Why am I mad? As a medical device I just... to treat inattention in children Smash Brothers. ADHD. This is it's literally double. Money is money, but it's not my money. I get none of it. I might get some of it if some of them come to this stream right now. Just like we prescribe pills for conditions. And think I'm Smash for life. I know. I know. I know. The world is a dangerous place. I will always be a smasher. Only the best can keep it safe. Become a tier one operative. Plan. Do you not get YouTube position. money? I do. I just, I give mine to the guy that manages my and channel. Execute. Because I'm, I'm fine on money. I just want like an do audience for YouTube. That's all. To neutralize the threat. Join the elite. Bring the thunder. Thunder tier one. As gamers, you are just generally better humans, and the world needs you. Here at the Peak Humanity Procreation Facility, gamers from around the globe are donating their superior DNA. I'm donating. I'm donating. I have powerful swim swims, and they can be yours. Transcend humanity through gaming. You want me to come in my laptop? What? The fuck? That was so weird. How much money did Intel spend on that ad? Too much. Too much. Like, that ad didn't even make sense. Like, you're donating DNA for what? It's an... It was memorable? I... I... I will forget it in an hour. Yeah. Welcome back, and as you just saw, EA Play is Hell available yeah. now DMC, on new baby. consoles, Steam, and Origin. It includes Star Wars, Jedi Fallen Order, 
one of our nominees tonight and a great game. All right, now on to one of the biggest games this year. It was created by three developers in Seattle. Now four, you saw them. They've won two awards tonight. Interslot, they absolutely took over the internet. Yeah, with yeah, the yeah, well, yeah. They sent us something special. This is the reveal of the brand new map for Among Us. Check it out, crewmates. It's out right now, isn't it? I bet it is. Top it. Top it. The airship. Welcome, recruit. Get yourself acquainted with the layout of the Top Bat airship. Enough slacking. Go to your tasks. <laughs> you may need to take a ladder to get to certain areas. Or maybe just take a nice shortcut. Quit grouping up. Choose a room to start in after a meeting. Huh. Someone keeps trying to sabotage us. Stop their plan. Keep your eyes peeled. We definitely have an imposter here. <laughs> Jesus. That looks cool. I like that. Seeing a dead body on that moving platform. Oh, that will be good. That's very funny. Killing somebody right, on a ladder. Our team has another surprise. They've turned my face into a mask, and that drops right now on Twitch for the next 30 minutes. That's right. The Jeff Keighley mask. Wait, Have what? Fun. Don't be sus. They, they came to me and said, all right, we can do this one. How do I get that drop? Anyways, uh, I'm on my Jeff Keighley match now available. It's only for the all next 30 right, minutes? How do we get that? Creator with over 25 million subs and over How do I get the drop? Million views. He's joining us now live from the UK. Jack Septica. What do I do? Hello, Jack. What's up? Hello, Jeff. How's it going? Hello, everyone at the Game Awards. How do I get the drop? In a year when so many of us were separated from I'm on the Game Awards friends, stream. One thing remained the same. Our favorite content creators were still there for us. They're streaming, gaming, and sharing. How the fuck do I get that drop? And feel connected, unifying us all with our shared passion for play. You get it here if you just sit in here? For okay. Content creator of the year. Content Creator of the Year, presented by Adobe. <laughs> Are you proud of me, Dad? What a, who is this man in my face? That's you, you, baby. Nice. Tell me. YouTube! That's my boat. It's him. Wait, it's him. Wow. YouTube! Wow, wow, wow. Put my crown on! Put my crown on! Yes, I did! Bad piggy, bad. <laughs> I love that. I love that video so much. YouTube. And the game award goes to Valkyrie. Congratulations. Isn't it crazy how big the internet is that I've never seen any of those people? I've seen Tim the Tatman, but like the other people I don't really know or see, but they have millions of people. You know what I mean? Isn't that nuts? So supportive of me. Uh the past she is so many viewers so on YouTube streaming. streaming and now to, I, I never uh, even see YouTube streaming people isn't that crazy like I don't even know how crazy, they do because there's just so many amazing creators I can't believe that's crazy it's just unbelievable anyways thank you so much for the support I am very flattered and honored wild to accept this award um, I do yeah. like Funhouse. I, I've only seen it every once in a while. I don't watch Funhouse Adobe regularly. Adobe salutes the nominees for Content Creator of the Year at the Game Awards and all gaming creators around the world. Tonight, celebrate oh. your creativity by downloading a free oh. trial of Adobe Creative Cloud at tgaxadobe.com and get creating. Joining me right now is the Chief Creative Officer of Epic Games, Donald Mustard. Uh, Donald, it is great <laughs> to have you on the show. Mustard. It's a yearly tradition. New I forgot Fortnite about Donald season. Mustard. What can you tell us? Oh, man. So awesome to be here. <laughs> Mr. So awesome Mustard. This is amazing, Jeff. You did this yet again. Uh, uh, oh, wait. So, this yeah, is the I'm guy so from the... Right now. Uh, new season I remember this guy now. You remember him from together a few with our years ago. Marvel heroes and, and what that's done is it's left the Fortnite zero point exposed oh. and Agent Jones is looking for all these hunters throughout all these different realities that can... Uh, help I remember stop him. anyone from escaping from Fortnite, and uh, we've already seen several characters come in, and we have one more that he's bringing in right now.
We made fun of his hair last time. Yeah, we did. We did. Chief comes to Fortnite. You're getting them all, Donald. Isn't that crazy. I, Master Chief is just one of my most favorite characters ever in any. Why? Game. I'm just we're so. He doesn't do anything. Join the ever-growing cast of characters in in Fortnite. Uh, and the coolest thing is he's going to be available. What does Master? Tonight, what's his personality? Uh, you can go and and get Master Chief. And I know there's some, cool. some more Halo coming as well. I heard. Yeah, so I think uh, you know we didn't want to just stop right there, and so there's something else I think we should uh, we should check out. Well, hello, sir. It's an honor. Hey, Sarge, did you hear? Oh, I guess you already got the news. What news? Master Chief is coming to Fortnite. A fort what now? It's only one of the most popular video games in the world, but more obviously, it's where we are right now. Huh? Wait, what? Wait a minute. If they put the no map on the Fortnite, then why do you have a cardboard cut out of Master Chief? Perfectly regular reasons. Whoa. You guys new around here? No! The chief got eliminated by a sneaky blue! That's no blue! That's that's ninja! It's such an honor. I I'm a huge fan of yours on Twitch. Twitch? Is he twitching because he's blue? Stop making us look bad in front of Ninja! We're Sergeant Grip from the popular web series Red vs. Blue. You probably watched it about 10 years ago. What are you doing here? Well, it's more than just the Chief coming to Fortnite. This map is too. It'll be in creative mode starting at 10 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Oh, so that's what we're doing in Ragnarok. You mean Basin. I'm pretty sure it was called something else. Either way, you can start reliving your favorite Halo memories here in Fortnite. And maybe add your own personal touches to the map. Hey, wait. Does that mean we can have dance battles? Come on, Ninja. What do you say? Eh, save it for New Year's. I thought they were going to do a New Year's thing. Yeah. Red versus blue, Donald. Yeah, isn't that so awesome? And so funny. Um, so what's awesome about that is... Good that, for them. Uh, Blood Good Gold for them. Was Good for them. ...was in Fortnite Creative by this awesome creative team that called themselves Atlas Creative. And... Tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern, you'll be able to go into Fortnite and you can play Capture the Flag in a recreated version of Blood Gulch. Oh my God, it's e gonna be fun. Everything is in Fortnite right now. So, you, are, are you done for the season? Wait. You know, I mean, Agent Jones is a. Uh, Guys, I just got the bounty for Game up, Awards. So it's for I an hour. I gotta turn it on. One more thing. Engage. Play. What the heck? Yes, let's go. Okay. Also, Walking Dead. Walking Dead's in the game. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. No, don't leave. Why would you leave? Why did you leave? Why would you leave now? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Guys. I have no idea where we're going next, but I'm on board. Okay. Thanks, Jeff. All right, uh, Donald Mustard from Epic Games. All right, coming up That's in a crazy. moment, Keanu Reeves is going to present the award for best game direction. We've still got a few more surprises. Don't go anywhere. Right now, let's hear from Rocket League on their new season. Hey, what's up? This is Cascade, and I am stoked to be welcomed into Rocket League's vibrant community in such a big way. Good for Rocket I'm League, man. To work with Cyanix and Monster Cat to put together an EP for Rocket Jonesy League. Jonesy IRL. Season Starting tonight, they made Jonesy the real. Anthem in the item shop and grab my free banner all weekend long. Cascade Let's makes good music. Season two trailer featuring my brand new trap that I made just for you guys. This dude is pointing. Flip reset. He's just my baby does this. She's pointing at everything. I do like his music. No, tonight is not last day. Wow, come on. 
Coney shilling Fortnite. I'm... I remember when he was just a Smash streamer. No, I give it up to Fortnite. I really like that Fortnite exists. I don't like playing it because I hate building, but I, I, I like the idea of Fortnite a lot because it's a living marketing organism. You know what I mean? That's, that's fascinating to me. I think it's really cool. I think that's really neat. That is the peak of content. Yeah. No way. <laughs> I've never played Skyrim, and I've considered it. Would that be funny? If I... I did a Skyrim run. Probably not, because it would last too long. But... Might be fun. I've never played it. Hold on. I gotta link my account to get the drop. Oh, open the game on desktop. Desktop, click on the gear settings. Hold on. I need to get my Jeff Keighley during the ad. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Nope, turn. Sound off, sound off, sound off, sound off. Uh, okay, data? What, Twitch? Yes! Yes! I'm in! Hell yeah. That's it? That's all I have to do. Hell yeah. Perfect. Good. Okay. I got it. I got it. Wait. Okay. Sorry, I had to get the drop. I had to get that drop. So apparently, you guys can get drops too. Because I have the special Pokemon events category. Phone, and there's Wooper everywhere. So we can Wooper. officially declare another Wooper watch. Team Go Rocket Grunts are also appearing in blue. And, and you Wooper can watch! Wooper from their villainous clutches. My wife's going to kill me. Buddy, take photos of it with Go Snapchat. Mallory's going to be so mad. With it in Go Battle League. If you're enjoying Wooper Watch, I love you'll Wooper love Watch. Pokemon Go's December Community Day happening this weekend. She's gonna text and be sure me. To check Twitter Zach, after the shut show the to fuck see up. How many Wooper have been caught globally during Wooper Watch? Whoop, whoop. Oh no, she did text me, but it wasn't that. Vince, can I show this on stream what you just sent to me? Well, I we're doing a bounty. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I can't do it yet. Actually, post it in this. Well, you could post it in here. I just saw your message about the the thing. Yeah, dude. That's so sad. It's funny if you show it. All right. Uh, hold on. Let me. I don't want to get away from the stream too much. Let me see. Where's my Discord? Because we are doing a bounty. However, hold on. I'll show you. Guys. Depression. Depressed. Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. Worst game I played this year, by the way. TK reminded me that we played this this year. Apparently they've updated it, made it better. Good for them. But 
I was on a PS4. Apparently, PS4 is much worse than PS4 Pro. But I maybe it's better. Maybe it went No Man's Sky. I don't know, but it was struggling. You know it didn't? I mean, it might have. You know? Min Min! I love Min Min. Should have been Bark and Bite, but... Or it's Bite and Bark. Oh, they didn't put Sephiroth in it. Damn. The Game Awards is back. We've got a lot of great show. Keanu Reeves still to come. Christopher Nolan and so much more. And of course, we've got the Game Awards sale happening on all the platforms, including an awesome discount on Destiny 2. So uh, make sure to check that out across all platforms. All right, Post your reaction to that ad on, on Twitch, YouTube. <laughs> you can get a free cosmic wrap for Fortnite. There is a Twitch drop happening right now. It's a good idea, check actually. That out too. This next game was announced last year right here at the Game Awards, developed by Airship and supported by Riot Forge. And now League of Legends a first look at the gameplay from this indie title, the first ever single player console game from the League of Legends universe. Indie this title is Ruined King, a League of Legends story. What do you mean indie title? It's Riot Games. Huh? Jeff is League posting. Cringe. Cutthroats. Spirits. You can't say you're an indie title if you have the backing of. Come when you on. You live in Bilgewater. You see some things. Is it like a Diablo game? Let's start the party. The queen oh. of Bilgewater, looking to bring order to this twisted town. It's tactics. Down. The priestess of the great or... kraken, unmoved by fear. What? Oh this yeah. The legend whose strength is only eclipsed by his kind. This sounds like Randy Savage. Legend whose strength is only eclipsed by his kind. You won't feel a thing yet, ever again. The dishonored swordsman fleeing. I hate all of these characters. And a nine tailed fox. Oh, I hate that one the most. Oh my god. Sorry to League Post. The AMA spoilers for tomorrow. Somebody asked me who my least favorite League character is, and that's it's fucking her. God. Ari is so cringe. Oh my god. Can't match my blade. Can't help but wonder what brought them together. Nothing good, I reckon. Who's your favorite then? I'm not going to tell you because you're going to complain. When I was super tryhard, I was a TF main. Now I play Jin mid. All right, if I'm trying. On if I'm having fun, I play Shaco mid. Now to it's a good time. Our next award, a man who absolutely needs no introduction. Please welcome... Shaco mid is Keanu so fun. Reeves. Keanu? I played Jin mid yeah. before the changes, though. Oh. Uh, greetings, everyone. He cut his hair. to be here to present the game award for best game direction. This category recognizes what happened, the Johnny? That demonstrated superior creative. No. <laughs> setting an even higher bar for the entire gaming industry. Over the past months, I've come to really appreciate all the fantastic creativity that goes into making a video game. Damn, dude. A special shout out to the folks and team at CD Projekt Red in Poland. I had an amazing True. experience playing Johnny Silverhand in Cyberpunk 2077. Thank you. And now, <laughs> here are the nominees for... <laughs> Thanks, Rafa, for the Prime Gaming. Wonder if there are any other Prime Gamers. This is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. What we're doing here could change things forever. I am a samurai. You are the god. <laughs> There's one. Thank you, Banana Man. I appreciate it. Maybe there's one more? I know you wish things were different, but they ain't. And the game award goes to. Wow! The last Thank you, Comrade Lily. Two. But maybe there's one more? Wow! Uh, 
Thanks, Jalego you, man. That's, that's a real thing to say. But maybe uh, there's one more. Shout out to our game directors, Kurt Marganow and Anthony Newman. <laughs> wow, guys. that's amazing. Thanks, man, Ouch. Right Could there um, be one more? It's an honor to be in this category with such incredible games. Um, directors, without that's amazing. That's amazing. Another it, one. Make it their own. Thank you, Real Furious. But maybe there's one more. Such an amazing team. Cast, outsourcing partners, <laughs> partners at Sony. Every huh, single person look at that. worked on touched this wait, game helped Did I miss one? Oh wait, one and of them was Bits. That doesn't count. Tizzy is stopping. Bits Evan don't Wells. count. You got us Come on. through thick and thin uh, while you we tricked this me. game. Uh, I can't tell you how much Maybe I there's that. one more prime sub. Thank you to the game awards and to all our fans. Cheers. Congratulations, Neil. All right, we've still got one last award to present the big one, Game of the Year, presented by Christopher Nolan. Okay, no Nolan. purse, no purse. We'll okay, okay, we got enough, we got enough. Okay, I'll give it up, I'll give it up. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, wait, ask Tone Eye Drops. Uh, game of the year Thank you so much. Next, but right Maybe now, there's one more. GTA Online continues to evolve, and next week they've got their biggest update yet. Check this out. I actually have to watch the stream for the bounty, so I'm gonna, you know what I mean? You never need to make six. You just do this forever. Lucy Adam was born about 9,000 years before our time. True. In the year Everyone 515, knows that. after having federated the African continent, she set out to thank conquer you, Rome. It was on thank witnessing you, thank you. the consequences of this terrible battle. Oh, this is that humanity game, isn't it? Upon her people as strictly a vegetarian it's called, like, humanity or... It's the civilization looking game. And it's in 1082, following the unexplained death of the king, that she was crowned Empress of Spain. Humankind, that's it. It's in fact to celebrate this event that uh, rock and roll was invented. In 1789, allied with the valiant Japanese, she discovered the real Indies, which had fallen into the hands of the bloody French. <laughs> Hey, this is kind of a funny ad. This was followed by the Great Devastation, a 100-year war that Lucy Adam ended before beginning the Great Reconstruction and establishing a lasting peace by banishing all forms of currency and violence, as well as the use of selfie sticks in museums. Lucy, are you with Good for us? Her. Okay, so for next week, don't forget your essay on the cultural stereotype of the Great Civilization. That's neat. That's a good ad. How far will you push humankind? I'll give it up. I'll give it up. We've been having fun with Instagram's Game of the Year AR effects. Here are a couple more. Those effects are still available, so keep posting to your Instagram <laughs> reels. Slayer. And coming up, we'll find out who's getting a real-life Game Award trophy for Game of the Year. Uh-oh. Immature gamers, look away. It's World War II time. Well, shit. How bad have things gotten? That's why he You're needs to be mature. He said the S word. Into a possible enemy. Did you see her eyes? We need more resistance members, but that's much easier said than done. Wait, respawn made. Make any move and we shoot. Uh, Respawn is good, service. right? Titanfall, right? Oh. Okay, I... I was gonna say that, but like... Alright. Okay. That's a piece of shrapnel. We had to report for the draft. It was something we had to do. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. You want to hear the rest of the story? No, that's cool. That's a really cool idea. Wait, World War II was real? Oh, it was going to be a tough job ahead. The Titanic, Where yeah. My sister? But it's good for us to be together. That's all we can ask for. Oh, it's Medal of Honor. Okay. That's actually a really cool idea for a game. It feels a bit tasteless. 
Well, I I mean, if they're talking to the people who went through, I guess so. I could see that. I have to imagine that they're doing something for these guys, you know? I think it's a cool idea. Welcome back to the Game Awards. I'm so excited about that Medal of Honor from Respawn in VR. Surprise, it's out right now. What an incredible trailer and game. I can't wait to play that, hopefully this weekend. All right, uh, when the show ends, the games continue with the Game Awards Festival. You can play upcoming games and stream them on GeForce Now, which means no downloads on PC, Mac, or, or phones. Uh, make sure to check it out. Uh, we got playable games available all through the weekend. Let me see what all demos right, they have. We've got one last world premiere to share with you. It was you. a GeForce. Check this out. Game Awards? I don't remember what it was. Okay. I'll find it. Maybe I'll try some of those. We know now that in the early years the Another space game, by the way. Elden Ring. Is this the uh, the Bethesda one? You think? Mass Effect? Is it? I mean, that's cool, but, like, Andromeda, I thought, was, like, people hated Andromeda, so, like, you know? Mass Do people effect. care? I can't wait to see where Bioware is going to take that uh, next. Oh. Um, very exciting. All right, well, to present our final award, this man has created some of the most iconic films of all time, some of which screened this summer in Fortnite. And on December 20th, I'll be sitting down for a conversation with him on YouTube to talk about the home release of Tenet and his illustrious career. And if you've got questions for him, which I'm sure you do, send them our way using the hashtag. How does that work, Ask watching Nolan movies in Twitter. Fortnite? How does so that right happen? Now, without further ado, to present Game of the Year, it's my honor to introduce Christopher Nolan. Hey, Chris. Yeah, you can watch you, movies Jeff. in it's Fortnite. It's an honor to be part of the Game Awards. For me, oh, he's I've British? always been interested in telling stories that, that immerse the audience. I didn't know I, that. I like movies that, that unfold in unexpected ways and, and pull people into a world. Uh, when I look at video games, I see a lot of parallels with that kind of storytelling. Uh, how a player's agency and choice intersect with more traditional storytelling methods. It's uh, True. exciting to see and really quite groundbreaking. Tonight, all six nominees for Game of the Year are true masterworks in immersive storytelling. To pay tribute to them, please welcome from Abbey it's Road Studios, the London Philharmonic Orchestra. It's Last of Us 2, for sure. my old friend, Lorne Balfi. It's Last of Us 2, for sure. Do you think Christopher Nolan plays League of Legends? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure he's in my games, and I've cussed him out with knowing it, without knowing. I'm just being very toxic to Christopher Nolan. Last of Us is winning, for sure, for sure. I really like these, by the way, at the end of the... I like the, the medleys. This is really cool. I like this every year. I want Doom to win so bad. I really do. I want more Doom games. Oh, this is cool. I'm gonna go back and play this at some point, but I don't know when. And I probably won't stream it, but I do hear it's good.
I'm still only halfway through this game. I have no incentive to play it because I don't want to stream it anymore. And I know how it ends. <sighs> I did think the fingers thing was cool, though. I thought that was a cool way to end the game. But... Good for Hades, dude. some type of way. I felt that in my heart. These are so cool. <laughs> That's so cool, dude. I'll give it all the way up. That was awesome. That was really cool. Well, that sounded fantastic. And now, the Game of the Year award. That sounded so disingenuous. Goes to... The Last of Us, part two. You know? Uh, again, uh, big congrats to all the other games. You knew it would happen. Um, everyone at Naughty Dog, I, I can't wait to hug and high five and get drunk with each one of you. Uh, that's going to have to wait till next year. You knew um, it would happen. I want to just thank every person that worked on this Ambition game and within Naughty Dog and outside. Uh, shout out to all Check our, the chat. Um, oh, Sony man. Partners again, Scott Brody, Connie Booth, Herman, Paul, Stop Sean the Lee, and Jim Ryan. Your Cringe. support and trust in us means the world. Oh, dude. Um, and more than anything, and I know that I speak for the whole team when I say this, we'd like to thank our friends and family that stood by <sighs> us and support us throughout uh, us making this game. You inspire us not only to make better, more meaningful games, um, but to improve how we make games. On behalf of everyone at Naughty Dog, thank you. Congratulations you to know? Naughty Dog, Game of the Year for The Last of Us Part Two, and congratulations to all our winners and all the nominees around the world. Thank you for joining us virtually, and next year hopefully we will all be back together in person, but in the meantime, there'll be plenty of games to play. Congratulations also to Pluful, who was voted by the fans as their favorite emerging Valorant streamer. Let's all go raid her stream right now on Twitch. There's also the Twitch Gaming oh, Post Show wow. right now at slash Twitch Gaming. I'll be joining them to check Bro. out the things you liked and you didn't like in tonight's show. It's been a what very What a unique fat year. raid! What the heck? Bro, 439,000! to our Game Awards team. Bro, what the hell? Incredible developers and publishers Guys, don't world. do it! Don't Maybe raid! Don't raid! Possible. Don't leave! I'm still Under doing the bounty! I'm not doing the bounty! Please! Please! Take don't! Care. Don't leave! Safe, Please! I'm holidays, in the middle of the bounty! Well. I'm in the Keely. middle of the bounty! We'll see you next year! Oh, man! Four hundred and twenty-seven thousand people? That's the fattest raid I've ever heard of. Oh my god, what a raid. Oh, I should have gotten good at Valorant. I guess so. All right. That'll be me next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, little Strack. All right. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. You know what time it is, fellas. All right. It's time to do it big. What's the other what other games were there? I don't remember. What was did anything else get Mass Effect? Super Meat Boy. Medal of Honor? Yeah. Monster Hunter? Okay. 
There was that anime one. Oh yeah, dude. Did anybody get the name of that? Did anybody get the Scarlet Nexus? <laughs> what the hell? Red String. Yeah, I remember Red Strings. Zombie Cowboys. What was the name of that? Evil West. Ugh. All right. All right, let's do a... Uh, how do I do this? All right. Bad. Oh, not bad. That's not nice. No thanks. No thanks. <laughs> okay, champ. Okay. Actually, I need to do this on a Google form so it's easier. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Google Docs. Hold on. I gotta. I'm gonna make a tweet saying we're rating every game for tonight. <laughs> Cause Lord knows, people love uh, love rankings. Here we go. All right. Let me get the uh, the drive open. All right. Copy. Paste. Actually, it's not that many when you put it like this. This isn't that bad. All right, uh, okay. Is the phone after? Yeah, once the bounty is done, we'll do the phone. Promise, promise. <laughs> All right. Thank you, phase guy. All right, table, uh, four, four, just like before, just like in my, my, my wrap up, we'll do four. Okay. So there's, no thanks. Sure. Please. And the last one is... Thank you, Rot Rip. What's the last one? <laughs> yes, and thank you very much. How about that? There we go. Keep it very polite. Back for blood. Yes, and thank you very much. For sure. Sephiroth reveal. D for sure. Yes. It looked very good. It actually did. Near? No thanks. Not for me. No thank you. Uh, Perfect dark? Please. I'll give it up for Perfect Dart. That's a please from me. Dragon Game. What was the Dragon Game called? Where they ride... Did anybody know? Century? That's a no thanks! Scavengers. Sure. I'll give you a sure. Robin Hood. Sure. Callisto Protocol. Please. That was the, uh, that was like Dead Space. That one looked pretty good. Dragon Age? No thanks. So wait, Bioware? Oh my god, thank you, A-Star, for the raid. I'm doing a bounty, too. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, A-Star. A star, I loved <laughs> your. <laughs> A star had my favorite tweet today that I saw today was the was the. You guys should go to A star's Twitter. It was the the, the letter. <laughs> Taking the letter, thank you. That was very good. It was very funny. All right, uh, Dragon. So Dra So Bioware is making. 
a new Mass Effect and a new Dragon Age at the same time? And they just, like, left? Like, two of their biggest people just left? That's insane. It Takes Two is the game of the night. I, I really think It Takes Two is the game of the night. That's not a joke. I, I loved that game. It looks so good. Done. Excellent game. Dude, that looks so good. What specifically did you like? It was, it was create, it looked extremely creative. It looked like it had a story that would speak to me. Like, as somebody in a very long-term relationship, games that deal with, like, relationship stuff like that are super interesting. That's why I really like Catherine, too. Because, like, long-term relationship stuff is, like, not a topic in games. You know what I mean? And I think that game could be really funny. And it looked energized. It looked creative. It looked fun. It looked like you're always doing something new. Man. I really like the idea a lot. I like that. Coney, why is choose an emote to unlock more channel points more than loot moving into your house? Uh, because you don't get the emotes for free. Pay $5 for the emote. There are no freeloaders. That's why. I wasn't was I wish it wasn't shot like an animated movie trailer. It was a little dreamworksy, yeah. But I mean That's not like I don't it that was a little silly, but at the same time it was really cool. Like I liked it still. They didn't raid her stream. Well, apparently it's like you can't raid with over a hundred thousand people, so maybe they didn't know that. Or maybe Jeff doesn't know what raiding a stream is. <laughs> So he just meant, like, let's all go to her stream and didn't realize raiding is, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he, he made a mistake. She's on YouTube. <laughs> She's streaming on YouTube. Oh, no. Uh, I'm doing a bounty. I'm doing a bounty. Give it up. Give it up. Let's not talk about it. Thank you, Yendemore. We're not talking about it. I'm doing a bounty. I'm doing a bounty. I'm doing a bounty. Twitch, 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 twitch. Okay. Whew. Returnal. No thanks. That was the Risk of Rain one, I think. Chia. Uh. That was the one that looked like the Breath of the Wild thing, right? Yeah, from a me, that, that's a no thanks for me. That's a no thanks for me. For me, that's a no thanks. Arc 2, that's a no thanks. Ghosts and Goblins. I want a new tier. Extra no thanks. <laughs> I, I can't make a stinker of the night, right? Right? That'd be mean. Get that away from me. <laughs> it's the final game. Season looked good. Crimson Desert is... Scavengers... Uh, Scavengers actually looked... Oh, wait. I already have that. I had it twice. Whoops. Fist? Sure. Sure. Fist is sure. Wait, so that one person was Brie Larson? Wait, was it? Yeah, Brie Larson was supposed to show up. That was her, wasn't it? I told you guys, dude. You guys were talking all that trash. You told us it wasn't her? I. It said in the bottom left that her name was Laura Schmidt or something. I don't remember. Whatever. It said a different name. And then you guys are like, it doesn't even look like her. Road 96 looks cool. I like that. I like the idea. Uh, if you guys played Fire in the Flood, that was what it was called, right? Flame in the Flood. I think it's like that, but on a road trip sort of setting. That could be really cool. And I think finding different routes in that kind of game could be really interesting, I think. So I, I'll, I, I like Road 96 a lot. That looks cool. Dark Tide, no thanks. Not for me. Not interested. Capcom Arcade, that's a please, I think. They said it was free. So, like, I'll check it out, you know. Depends on what's in it. But... Endless Dungeon, no thanks. Well,
it's not all free. Well, maybe then. That's Dungeon of the Endless. Oh, it's a follow-up. This is Endless Dungeon, which is a follow-up to Endless Dun... <laughs> Endless Dungeon is a follow-up to Dungeon of the Endless. Got it. Coney, do you know how to get that Among Us drop? Google it. I think it's on Google. You have to go into Among Us and tie your Twitch account to it, but I think it's too late now because they said it was for 30 minutes. Um, yeah, it looks too... It, it looks kind of derivative to me. Like... Oh god. This is a cool intro. I like the singing stuff. It might be fun with friends, but it's just like, it's... It's... This would be fun for one night. You know? If you could just like... If you could get all your friends to drop 20 bucks on this game, you'll have fun for a night. You know? It's fine. It's fine. But it's, it's probably a no thanks. Evil Dead? Please. It looked like Friday the 13th. Who's making it? Hold on. It looked like Friday the 13th, but I don't think that's the same people. Evil Dead Red? No. Hold on. 90% of the games are co-op games. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. I wonder why. Uh, Renaissance Picture... No. Studio Canal Saber? And Boss Team Games. Boss Team... Was it Saber Interactive? Saber Interactive have made... Halo. Master Chief Collection. Quake. Ghostbusters the video game remastered. Wait, this is weird. What? They make like Why Witcher Complete Edition? Vampire? Oh, they made a port. They do ports. Okay. That's uh, funny. Yeah, so they do ports. Uh, I mean, I'll move that to a shore. I'll move that to a shore. It's it's okay. Dragon writing game that was Century. I did that. Was it were those the same game? Were there two of them? There was a dragon writing game and then a game where you were a dragon. <laughs> it's like they bonked heads. And now I can't even think. What? Man. Come on. Crimson Desert? No. Not Crimson Desert. Shady part of me? No thanks. That looks like it will be free on the Epic Store in a month. Which is fine. I just won't pay for it. Open Roads is a shore. Open Roads is the... Uh, yeah, Open Roads is this game. Oh, it's actually made by the Gone Home people. I was making a joke. But it's literally them. Okay. A unique and engaging interactive dialogue system between the characters. I think this game could be really interesting. The idea of a like a road trip conversation game, if it's done well. I, could, I think this could be really cool. Um, people say that Gone Home is a good game. I've never played it. I just saw the crap around it. But I never thought that was, like, Gone Home's fault. It's more the fault of people circle-jerking about it. You know what I mean? But I don't know if that's true. Like, I got the sense that Gone Home was a good game, but the discourse around it was just poisoned by, um, just, you know, people trying to make a point. That's all. It was bad timing. Well, it did come, like, during all that stuff. Yeah. Let's watch a playthrough. How long? 47 seconds. 
It's one of the first walking sims. It, yeah, it was. It came out at that time. Yeah. Star Wars VR? No thanks. Absolutely not. Outriders was... Wait, was that the dragon game? No, that was the one where you had to kill people to, to advance. You know what? That's a sure for me, because I'm not trying to hide. That's my least favorite thing about BRs. People sitting back chugging blue pots. Get the hell out of here. Super Meat Boy subtitle. I don't remember what it was. Uh, Super Meat Boy is a sure, I guess. I mean, you know? Hashtag hold forward. Hell yeah. Forever. Okay. Medal of Honor is... Is... I mean, I'm not getting VR for it. I think the idea is really cool. The idea of, of getting war vet stories. But people in the chat were saying it's exploitative, which I do, like, I do get. I don't know why I'm less cynical about this. Usually I'm super cynical. But this one, it feels cool to me, maybe because it's Respawn. You know? Like, if it, if it, like, Respawn, I trust because they make good stuff. But. I trust Respawn, so I'm going to put that in sure. Where is it? Takes two. Literally read the, the the screen. It's literally on the screen. I've seen five people now ask where it is. Use your eyes. You guys are killing me. You guys said I'm wearing like a Blue's Clues shirt. I feel like Steve. There's your favorite game. Do you see it? Ruin King sucked. I'm not feeling it. Put a box around it. How about this? How about this? This enough for you? How's this? Hmm? Can I do rainbow text? How come I can't do rainbow text? I have to like do this. The first word processor to give me rainbow text I'll throw money at word art oh god that oh <laughs> oh man that hurts that really hurts all right game of the night All right, and the game of the night, there you go. Monster Hunter, no thanks. That was a Switch only Monster Hunter, right? So it wasn't even like a, a port. That kind of make it seems like it's sarcastic. I guess kind of it does. I don't care. I'm still doing it. Got leaked as having a PC version. Wait, so that means they're putting it out for Switch first, and then it's... <laughs> That's one of the best things I've ever seen. He's so confident. He's so cocky. His face. <laughs> Flower on his head. That's very funny. That's very funny. I'm a big fan. He's so cocky. He's so cocky. Well done. Well done. Good picture. All right. Uh, Scarlet Nexus. That's the anime game. No thanks. Evil West. Oh boy. I'll give you. I'll give you a sure. I will because I like cowboy stuff. But I'm. But it's a very thin sure. It is on. It is on the line. It is so close. I'll give you. A thin shore. Mass Effect? Sure. Why not? Now you might look at this and say, Coney, you hate video games. And I'd say... Mm. I just know what I like. 
I know what I like. No. So I didn't see who it was, but somebody in chat said that uh, they were like, Coney, how do you not get sick of playing video games? Why do you not get tired of it? Honestly, it's because I stream. If I didn't stream, I probably would play a couple games a year, but not nearly as many as I do. You know? Where's Oddworld? Excellent. 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 I don't remember what it was called. Soulstorm? Was that it? That's it. Soulstorm. Humankind. Yes, you're right. Humankind. Humankind is a please, but it's on the line to shore. Because Civ bores me. I know Civ is great. It's amazing. But I don't like playing a game that I'm going to have to play for 12 hours. You know what I'm saying? I wondered it because you stream and play stuff off stream. I wouldn't have the energy at all. No, it, playing off stream is a different vibe. Because, like, I played all, th all through Control off stream. But uh, you can get... Uh, it's a different feeling playing off stream. Like... I'm going to plot. I don't think I'm going to play any more Cyberpunk on stream. Not because, like, I don't have fun with it, but I don't think it's a good stream game for me. But I'm going to enjoy it more off stream, I think, because I can, like, actually focus on it. They're just two different feelings. I, I, I rarely play games off stream, though. It, it doesn't really happen ever. I, uh, I only do it if I really want to play something, and I think I would really like it. That's all. No more Ninja Biden. Yeah, Ninja Biden is just it's it's funny and don't get me wrong. I'm I might do Cyberpunk off or like just randomly pop in with streams, but not on uh scheduled nights. Not on scheduled nights. I'm not putting up Disco Elysium cuz I already played it. So I know what happens. The worst part of it is who wants to play that game again? Yeah, exactly. Why would I ever replay Disco Elysium? I know how it ends. I know all the stuff. Like the mystery of the game is gone. I could see myself playing it in like five years. And I have very fond memories of playing that game because I did it while I uh, I would I would take care of Julie and she would just sleep all the time. So I'd just have her here at my feet while she was sleeping and I would rock her with one foot while playing it. It was kind of cute. Um, but I don't ever want to play it, you know? Does Mal know that? Yeah, I told her. I think. <laughs> Yeah, she knows that. She knows that. Mal would be asleep, taking care, resting, and Julie would wake up randomly, and, you know, I'd be up really late. So, it was a good time. Is it worth the price for that first time play? If you like RPGs, yeah. Disco Elysium rules. It's very good. Not sure how I would get to do the new quests if they're just in the main game. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know the new quests. There's only a few quests I remember distinctly from that game. But it's very good. It's a very good game. And I'm a big fan of uh, of the game because I'm big into, like, you know, psych stuff. So having a game that the progression system and, like, the, the stats is based around, um, around like, it's all psych stuff and mentality. And uh, I, I think that's really interesting. I'm going to do this. Otherwise, Smash Twitter is going to blow me the fuck up. Fine, I'll put it in please. Fuck. But I will, I'll do this. I'll give it up for Callisto Protocol. Because they have two years to cook it. They have two years to cook it. Among Us new map should be on it. I'm not really, I don't, I don't really like Among Us, though. I like Among Us, don't get me wrong. I like playing it with friends, but I'm not going to play Among Us on my own. And even when I do play it, it's like, it's kind of fun for me. I just like dicking around, you know? I'm not a big Among Us guy. You know what the other problem with it is in Among Us is like, you have to change how you play based on the group you're with. And I know it's like, you do that in any social situation, but as somebody with like, you know, a bunch of different groups, it's like... Coney just wishes Fall Guys had stayed bid. Yes, I do. I, I sincerely do. I invested a lot of time and energy into Fall Guys, and I like it a lot more than Among Us, but can't argue that uh, it didn't fumble the bag. 
Among Us with sweats isn't fun. You right? Well, it's not even that they're sweaty. It's the you know what the problem with Among Us is is like once you play it to a certain level and have done enough, you can't help but be good at the game and be sweaty. Does that make sense? Like if you play with if you play Among Us for long enough and with enough people, you will pick up tactics and tricks and you will integrate them without thinking about it. It's the same way with Smash. It's like if I go to like a like a college dorm and I start playing Smash with people and they're like, "Dude, stop stop shielding all the time. All you do is shield." I can't th not think about shielding. It's part of the game. The same way that like if you play Among Us a lot, you know how people look when they fake tasks, and you're like, oh, he's doing it. It's like, it's, you can't get it out of your head, you know? You see it every time, so. And it sucks, because, like, I really, I, I'm super casual at Among Us, and I have more fun that way. But some people really want to play it, so, you know? Among Us needs to add different roles for crewmate imposter to make the game fun. I don't think it needs to do anything because it's popular, but I agree. I, I would have more fun if there were more things to do. Roles, I think, might be the right play. Like, if you're a medic and you find the body, you can heal them. You can bring someone back. Well, no, because that would break the game because then they would just say who it was. I don't know. Yeah, it's not their fault, but the Smash guy at a dorm hates playing Smash with you. Yeah, exactly. And he's not wrong. Because he's like, oh, why do people take this seriously? Like, I play Smash seriously, or I have in the past, so I, I get why people do it. I'm just, I'm not that guy. I don't like Among Us enough to commit myself to it. That's all. But I did like Fall Guys enough to play it competitively. I did like a bunch of other stuff, so I get it. Just how I feel. The things you're describing Project Winter does. Everybody says Project Winter is good. The problem with that, though, is getting people to play Project Winter. Like, I, I, I hear it's great. I just... You know? I gotta get all my friends to buy it and stuff. It's, it's tough. Alright. Time to make people mad on Twitter.com. Uh, whoops. It takes two, baby. It takes two, And it's their problem now. Well, bam. Did it. <laughs> no thanks. Damn, dude. It sucks that it does go like this, but that's just how I feel. You know? God, where the hell is Elden Ring, dude? so sad they're not all going to be hitters i wonder if other people feel the same way does anybody watch the game awards and think the whole time like yes i can't wait to play that yes i'm gonna play that too i'm gonna play that too you know it's like i does that nobody does that everybody has things that they like you know very little nintendo stuff tonight yeah i, I noticed that too I wonder why. Like, what happened there, you know? Is Nintendo ever heavy at TGA? No, but they'll announce something. Their videos tonight were like... Like, they actually just didn't have... Vi their videos tonight were about games that already came out, you know? Maybe they just don't have anything to show, I guess? But it's weird, you know? It's a strange thing. <laughs> Look at this goddamn book. His eyebrows and mustache are his 
our our pages. Come on, he's cute. You don't think he's cute? I think he's cute. I'm a big fan. Not a fan of Monster Hunter? Nope. Not me. No thanks, I'm Ruined King. Absolutely no thanks, I'm Ruined King. Are you kidding me? Pretty much based. Thank you, Beat. <laughs> that book is so funny. Wait. Elden Ring. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. Yeah, thank you very much. Agreed. I mean, that's... Yes, yes and thank you. You know? What is this link? But, okay. Do you think It Takes Two will be awkward to play with the wrong person? Yes! Absolutely! Are you kidding? You're playing a game about being, like, romantic interest with someone. If somebody's weird about it, yeah. I don't know if Mal will play it. Mal likes... I Mal wanted to play A Way Out, but I, I was like... I looked at it. I was like, she won't like this. She will not like this. Where did the 300 viewers go? Dude, I don't know. I was wondering that. Because I'm doing the bounty, and it went from like 700-something to 165. I don't know if it's a bug or what. But I'm, it's okay. It's okay. The bounty's done anyway soon. It's okay. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. It's okay. It's okay. People are done. People are done. It might be a... It might have been a bug. It might be a bug. That happens to me sometimes. But it went from 700 to 160. Either we finished it, or people are just like, I'm out. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. We're watching the phone anyway. So, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's because I put near and no thanks. No, I've seen that bug before. It's happened to me before. But I figured maybe it was people, like, you know, um, watching the Game Awards and then leaving. Which is, you know, that's fine. Anyway, this is my, uh, this is my review on the Game Awards. I hope you all enjoyed it. I had a good time watching, and I hope you did too. Pretty good show. Pretty good show. Good movie. Good movie. Good movie. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Mm, okay. If Coney can't get viewers, it's just a bug pog. No, that's happened to me. Where my viewers like, well, 600 people don't just leave like that. They don't literally just leave like, fuck it. It's over. <laughs> It's, it's usually like, you know, 100 people, 100 people, 100 people, you know? But maybe it is a bunch of people. I don't know. Maybe I said something to offend people. All right. Um, let me see. Actually, no, maybe they did just leave because we're at 159. That's that's fine. That works for me, actually, because I'm about to watch something that I don't know if I want 700 people to see. So, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Small streamer, baby. Let's go. They all went to raid Valkyrie. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, okay. I'd thank your viewers if I could. <laughs> thank you, Muffin Dan. I appreciate it. Okay, uh, let us go ahead and split the VOD. Guys. More depression. Are you ready? This is the video from tonight. My views are usually like, you know, seven to ten thousand, roughly. Uh, but this one. Thank you, Obama Hostel. This one is a little different. Mm, it's definitely getting algorithm. A 
Oh, it's not a bug. A bunch of people did just leave. Okay. Because it keeps changing. Bugs usually fix themselves by now. Okay, everybody just left. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's do, uh, let's do, let's do the show. You've been doing well on YouTube, though, recently? I've been doing okay. Not as, not as well as I'd like. It's going pretty well. Um, but why did they all dip at once? I don't know. It's, we, I've never seen that. Usually it's like, you know, but, um, I've been doing okay on YouTube. It's slow growth, you know? Uh, it, but it's, it's just, it's taking shots and then eventually one of them we're hoping will, will pop, which is sort of what happens with YouTube, you know? So, all right, VOG cut, VOG cut. I'll be right back for something. I have to go. YouTube seems exhausting. It, well, that's why I don't want to edit, dude. If I could just worry about ideas and stuff I want to do and trying to make those work, that's fine. If other people could figure out all the other stuff, editing and blah, 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 you know. All right, uh, I'll be back in a second. One sec. <laughs> 